wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back through the mists into Ravenloft. In particular, Barovia, a little picturesque valley, as you can see behind me, if I get out of the way. There it is. Look at that. Lovely. And you have joined us here as we come back here for our continuation of Barovia and beyond our home-brewed Ravenloft campaign, wherein these four lovely people and the characters they portray attempt to rescue the ladies of the Fanes, Fey entities once worshipped by the forest folk who live here in the valley, but banished away by the evils of Count Strad von Zarevich, an evil that has been somewhat dealt with. <laughs> Stopgap measure. Um, he has been got rid of to an extent. His soul has been banished and trapped within a doll and trapped within his castle with the spirits of his parents and he is no longer able to rule over this valley with his tyrannical fist but his influence and his effects are still felt here in the land for he as they say is the land and that is what these people are wishing to seek to do undo that grasp unclench that fist and get the beautiful valley of Barovia back out of Ravenloft to the material plane. But that's more endgame stuff. Right here, right now, what is going on? Well, we shall jump all into all of that in just a second after we said a few thank yous. First and foremost, for all of you lovely people over there. Hey, Aileen, how you doing? I see you there. I am very much looking forward to seeing you in Chesenter, a little other area of the world that we enjoy adventuring in. And we are very, very thankful to have you all here, be it over there in chat lurking away or in the VOD squad as well. Welcome on, and we are happy to have you along for our adventures wherever and whenever you can. Speaking of those VODs, here they are. Over there, there's a link for the Twitters and the YouTubes. You can see all of the VODs, all of our old campaigns, everything that's going on over there. And on Twitter you can see what's going on, get the news of what's coming up and other things. There is another place that you can get news of what's going on, and that is our followers Discord. And I want to say a little special thank you and hello, hello to the lovely person Langi816, I want to say. <laughs> trying to, or is it Ian Ian Gee? I'm not sure how, how if it's a capital I or a small L. I'm not sure which lowercase L. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with Langi eight one six. A massive, massive thank you to them because I don't think they they probably knew what was going on, but they have the esteemed privilege of being our nine hundredth follower. <laughs> it just happened between sessions today, so a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has come along. It is lovely to have you all here, and it is always an absolute pleasure to share these adventures with you and all of these fine players as well. Now, speaking of thank yous, not only you, all of you lovely folks, but over on the earphones that you are probably experiencing as we are as well. We also love to say a massive thank you and welcome on in to the wonderful people at Sirenscape. Do head on over to sirenscape.com to get yourself a free 30-day trial and you can try out all of the amazing music and sound effects that they have in your games as well. Then, if you fall in love with it and want to have it all the time, you can become a Super Siren subscriber and have access to all of that for all of your games, be they in person round a table or across the world like we are and over the internets, which is also another very viable option. Now, speaking of that, they are not the only source that we like to employ. There are lovely, lovely people over on YouTube and some lovely, lovely people over on Patreon as well. Please head on over to those aforementioned VODs. All of the links are in the info of those for all of those wonderful people. And you can enjoy them in your games too. That said, let us quickly remind ourselves what is going on around these parts. Last time we were here in Barovia, our adventurers here were traveling from the village of Barovia all the way over towards the stately mansion in the slight state of disrepair and the um, state of um, Argen Vostholt um, up on its mountain overlooking the river valley below. Um, wishing to drive out the nasty beasties within and claim it for themselves to use as a base of operations in their ongoing mission here. On the way, they were rejoined by an Aracocker friend of theirs, Crick, who had been off to the mountains to the south and spoke of Aracocker royalty? 
drawn there, plucked from the elemental plane of air and brought into the mists here, much as many of our adventurers and their friends have found themselves too. They continue traveling together towards Valaki and passing on through, they saw something curious, a strange robed masked figure glancing out from the shadows of a building. But when Esmeralda, who spied them, went to show them to the others, they had disappeared. Who was this mysterious figure regarding them from the alleyways? We shall probably find out later, I would imagine. Now, as they <laughs> as they arrived at Argenvostalt, they scoped out what was going on, and the forest folk that were travelling with them, the Mapak people who live off in the forests of Barovia, pledged to deal with the vicious Luna Kidna, strange monsters created from spider silk, and their powers relevant and um, affected by the size and you know, the waning and the waxing of the moon, and they scampered off into the parts of the building to deal with those nasty monsters while our brave adventurers here went round to the large open um, revealed rooms on the southern end of the building where the giant spiders had taken up residence and they discovered not only the giant spiders but a very very giant spider as their queen was also there with her guards and a strange fey entity, a shadow fey entity known as a somber weave, who was also residing here with these creatures and made mention of another entity connected with the fey, a sister of one of our players here, Xenicus, his sister also with links to the fey wild. This strange somber weave character had apparently been pursuing Xenicus's sister and had chased her into Barovia when she came through the mists and had been trapped here like so many before. It was a hard one fight, but when they did, although towards the end, Xenicus lost himself to his lycanthropy and turned even upon his own friends all teeth and claw, but he was put to sleep <laughs> and taken out of danger's way um, and as things calmed down and they discussed what they were to do Krig returned to his responsibilities as an Arakokra wanting to return to the Queen of Birds in the mountains to the south before he left he entrusted... I can't see what's going on. Thamio! Thank you so much. Thank you for the subscription. Always good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Lovely, lovely. And as um, you said goodbye to Craig, he entrusted a necklace that he has been wearing with two beads strung upon it. And Red Shrimp as well. Thank you, Esmeralda. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. The necklace bearing the beads that have elements of the Ladies of the Fane upon them, the Swamp Fane and the Forest Fane, with our adventurers having not visited the Mountain Fane yet. This was entrusted to Edgar in his capacity as Mistwalker and Mapak that would like to have the Ladies of the Fanes reinstated, <laughs> which is a lengthy title, but this it is. And he took, um, took guardianship of that item and is hoping to continue it and continue on Craig's um, mission and hopefully with the aid of these fine people reinstate those fey entities back to their positions of power and that is where we find ourselves let us bring you over to Argon Vostholt, the ruins of Argon Vostholt. it is a drafty base of operations <laughs> I'll say that <laughs> but it is safe, and you think you can sleep well rested here without any vicious night hag interventions. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thamio. Okay, where are you? Come here. Zoop. Did it work? Yay, there you are. Hello. Still a little bit zoomed out. There we go. In we go. Zinicus. Yeah. Your situation looks more dire than I believe it was. Uh, I was unconscious last time. Yeah. I think the skull and crossbones is a little dramatic. 
<laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the unconscious one instead. Did we revive by healing word yet? Or are you still? Oh uh, yeah, that no, was it was done at the very end actually. Yeah, because I'm on seven HP. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just noticed. Oh, so you actually, you know, you're not you're not going to say that. No, I'm more actually. Yeah, chill it too. Right. I'm still on the ground because the episode we ended as I was <laughs> Yes, indeed. Okay. So there you go. Um, I will. I won't bother putting the prone thing on you just to immediately take it off. <laughs> you, you're about to stand up. <laughs> Let's have that. Now, let us catch up with you lovely people here as I go around the overlay. Let us hear who are you, who are you playing, and where are they at? Let's go. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Mason, playing Edgar Phelan, the Mohawk Squadron. Bit of an echo uh, there, guys. Current. Yeah. That's not... <laughs> Just one point. Two seconds. Edgar and Asara, whilst the far furthest apart on the overlay, are closest together in the real world. <laughs> there we go. So. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> and quick quick house <laughs> And, <laughs> and uh, currently, he is quite tired and ready for some rest <laughs> as well to see uh his curiosity has been piqued uh whether he can restore asara with her lycanthropy mm, indeed thank you moving on esmeralda please Hello, my name is Marion. I'm playing esmeralda davenir the blazing Yvistani battlebuster who's also reborn and so she's feeling great um, reborn. You see that? Like is... it's like a like a reborn, like from a religious standpoint <laughs> rather than a from reborn the dead again. standpoint. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's doing great. Yeah, I mean, uncomfortable night visions from hags is nothing compared to actual death, so we're doing good. Um, we've killed some spiders, and would like to make sure as, everyone else as rests up. Lots so. of dead spiders. <laughs> yes, indeed. Right by, by carcasses, and currently just very, very unprecedented kiss. <laughs> By the way, anyone, <laughs> anyone slightly perturbed by the one lurking off in the shadows to the top of the map there without the I'm dead cross across it, that one was conjured by Edgar and is a friendly one. Friend. So do not, do not worry. Friendly. Spider friend. Non, non-aggressive. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> I would call it friendly. <laughs> and Xenicus, please. Yeah, Michael, I'm playing Xenicus, the Aladdin Blood Hunter, Order of the Lycan. So, as was mentioned a few times, he does have to deal with lycanthropy and did not deal with it well for the first time. Um, yeah, that was the first time you lost it, wasn't it? Yeah, he's, he lost control during the heat of the battle. Um, right. I think he's got a lot of things going on right now. He's <laughs> um, gained a pack of children, which are now <laughs> off, um, being protected, as far as we're aware. Um, he lost his mentor, though he's not sure it lost as in dead. We haven't seen a body like, yet. We haven't seen a body yet, so he's Only because just... you didn't look for it. <laughs> we didn't no, have we a had chance. Other we, we wanted to, we did not have the chance. We had to run <laughs> out of there. Excuses, um, excuses. So his master has run off. His best friend has just left him to join a bird queen. Um, his other best friend, who's more like a big sister to him, has now also got the curse <laughs> and he's being insulted constantly by a, a little uh, a pack so <laughs> I, I see why he lost control he's gonna have a lot of emotions right now fair fair <laughs> <laughs> okay and last but not least said big sister Asara um Asara is hating 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 the fact that things aren't back to normal yet. We've got things to do. Um, and I feel, I feel like the, the the longer she is in a state of, I, I hope nothing goes wrong. What's going to happen next? I feel like the younger a sister she becomes to Zinnikis. <laughs> That's a good point. Fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's where she's at. Happy to be killing spiders, but this herb-ish is not done. Noted, noted. 
Okay. So, as we rejoin you all here in the ruined tower, the Mapax, <laughs> surviving Mapax, Mapa came limping Mapax back. Mapax of <laughs> <laughs> They came limping back from their attacks on the Lunar yeah, Kidna. Some of them did. Mm -hmm. I remember correctly, you rolled quite a lot of their deaths. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but it seems the day is yours, and Argon Vostot is now purged of spidery inhabitants. So, what would you like to do? Confirm the graveyard also is purged of inhabitants that are moving. Second three. Confirm that the graveyard is also purged of moving inhabitants, ideally. Double check that the graveyard yeah. doesn't have any lingering... Uh, People with other ideas about because... their mortality. Yeah, I mean, there was, there, there were... Look who's talking. There was I know! <laughs> I'm very defensive about it. There's at least one aggressive, um, white that didn't really want to let things go before. Um, you mean the, the Revenants? Yeah, it's the Revenant, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, okay, okay. There was at least, there was at least one who was willing to come back and deal with us. <laughs> yes. Yes, science alternative life is what we're looking for. <laughs> alternative life, yes. <laughs> There we go. Um, what do we think? Shall I, shall I, I think, I think you, you've had the lay of this place, right? I, so can I just, yeah. I can just turn off the dynamic yeah, lighting now, can I, right? You know what's going on. I'm going to turn it off the and just like behind the door there's going to be like a thousand enemies. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Surprise! No, it's all good, it's all good. Um, I think this should work. Boop. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So yes, feel free. <laughs> to ignore walls and just run about the place amok. Wee! <laughs> um, out and I, I'm gonna search. Who are lost and not where they should be. Zoop. Zoom out, everyone, so you can see what's going on here. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. But they're all teeny tiny now. Look at the tiny Esmeralda running through the walls. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna search some spider carcasses. Please do. Take it in that way. What are you searching them for? I am searching them for a valuable trinket. I'm gonna what, search... what, 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 what trinkets? Sorry. Valuable. Valuable, okay. Thank you, thank you. They're, they're all just wearing lots of necklaces and like, yeah, just so many rings with... on. <laughs> just fist like, all that out. Like, <laughs> what out was that fake feature? I don't know, they Everybody. might have... I don't know the, the politics of spider-ish. <laughs> at least there was that humanoid one, at least. That was... Yeah, can I look at that one? Yeah. Is anything on here interesting? Somber Weave? Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Hiding in the fireplace at the beginning for some reason, just chilling out there. Yeah. As you do. Bemoaning, bemoaning her situation. <laughs> Stuck. Yeah, I was say, the worst Santa Claus ever. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, you head on over to that creature, and da -da 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 -da. let's have a quick look here, see if they've got any little bits knocking around. Um, I think, I think a little, a little, a little rory roll on a table, don't you? <laughs> nothing, Sounds good. nothing official, I'm afraid. But you worked so right. hard. <laughs> feel feel rude. You're coming away with nothing, except for a giant mansion to call your own. <laughs> Greedy bastards. Freaking stuff. That's all we care about. <laughs> First, a whole second, I was like, "Oh God, there's still two spiders," and I'm like, "Oh no, they like us." We talked about them specifically. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. Um, yeah, they're all good. They're all good. Um, treasure. I treasure, said treasure. one second. <laughs> yes, that is like that's no problem. Um, okay, magic items. Yay. Here we go. Now, do 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 do. Uh, treasure tables. Okay, somebody, stop me. Sorry, no. Somebody roll. Um, Edgar, D one hundred with the sun in your face. Thank <laughs> you, okay, Druid, enjoying nature's 
warming influence. <laughs> it's the only sunlight you're getting around these parts, I'm afraid. Utopia's light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 24. 24. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Well. Um, Asara, you, you don't find anything on... Ale Hook, you don't find anything on the bodies. They're just spiders. Um, even the queen. Not not, 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 a, not a crown jewel to her name. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but you do find a smattering of coins. Um, there are... Caught in the webs or something? <laughs> no, like, they're hoarded in the fireplace. It seems the somber weave was kind of just gathering little bits and bobs that they'd found around the place. Um, you find um, 20 gold pieces worth of mixed coinage. And... And, and, and... Uh, Esmeralda, you. your turn. D100, please. Okie dokie, give me a second. Actually, give me a second too. I want to grab a new book. D100 is... Eight! Yeah, I'm starting off well, guys. Everyone knows eight is the best option. Oh yeah, it is all on purpose. <laughs> Sorry, Elhawk is suggesting that you uh, you get harvest the spiders for venom. I think more like kebabs. <laughs> That's option B. Yeah, certainly. That is definitely another option. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Can I do that? Can I make like poison chip arrows that way? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can use um. Yeah, the poison. That's pretty cool. Thing. Use oh, I want to do that. Is there survival. a throw to make sure use... I don't poison myself? <laughs> survival. <laughs> Your survival skill is the one that in in uh, in play there. So how, Ezreal, how survival do I feel? Ezreal, how you how able to eight. survive? Eight. <laughs> On a D100, Ezreal, eight. <laughs> we aim to please. We are doing our best. Our strengths lie elsewhere, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Zenica, it's your turn. D100, I guess. Ooh, I'm getting to do it well. Yeah. That is a 58. I can do 50 <laughs> better than Ezreal. 58. I'll let you think that. Hey. <laughs> I'll just do like a pallet buttons. <laughs> hey. Now, the question is. If it's fine for Bilbo, it's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> 58, 58. Okay. Now, the next. What's W? W it's page. a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Cut that to V. I found it. X. <laughs> X. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I need. We're here to help. Okay, next question. What's R? <laughs> also, it's with the alphabet. Ah, way ahead of you. Skip, 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 skip. Where <laughs> are you? Where are you? Where are you? Big box of stuff. Um, so yes, Asar, Asar, Asar! <laughs> Decided <laughs> to not feel like you. <laughs> sorry, I'm freezing in my house. I want to turn the heat up. No, I'm sorry. How dare you. Not acceptable. <laughs> okay. Slide back in the frame. Um, <gasps> I just saw your sweater. It's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. It says uh -huh. smart, strong, and sensual. Wow. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bob's Burgers so much. You do, right, so sorry. good. Um, okay. There is also... <laughs> Fabulous. Um, everybody, I we do love... They're not, not an official sponsor, but we do love the fine people at Cobalt Press over here. And this is my latest book from them, The Vault of Magic. Mm -hmm. uh, There's at and... least two magical items in that book. <laughs> at least, <laughs> um, at, at most, just shy of a thousand. <laughs> so, at least two. <laughs> um, Asara, Esmeralda, and Zenicus have pulled their resources and their dice rolls, and have determined that not only do you find a scattering of coins, you also discover a frayed and rather soot-stained rug, three feet by five feet, and it is woven with a tree motif and it has a tasseled fringe around the edge which may just be fraying instead you're not quite sure <laughs> but 
There's something about it. It looks right. it looks in good condition despite the soot marks and things here. It looks it looks curiously curiously sentient. not sentient. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching it. I have identified as a ritual. Can I? I the last time I saw Absolutely. anyone deal with a rug on D and D, it almost killed two members of a party. Turn my heat up. So, whilst Sarah is turning something on, heat up. Uh, was that? Yeah. Um, the heat is up and also ritual casting. Yes, and Esmeralda is ritually casting that. <laughs> okay, um, whilst you are ritually casting, it's ten minutes, I believe. Um, as, oh, sorry, 11. My, my bad. Um, Asara, Asara is attempting to harvest spiders for venom and kebabs. Yay. So, if you'd be so yes. <laughs> potentially both, as Locke said. When that venom was suggested, kebabs. I instantly rolled about like before you even thought about this rug. And um, I have to inform you and be honest that I got a six. <laughs> So it's more venom kebabs than kebabs. <laughs> venom kebabs. Yes, the, the good news is you get both. Yeah, both. The bad news is. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> is it? I've always read that as I've like. always read that as Elhawk. Is it Lork? I don't know. Is she like? I I, I don't know them personally, so I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've. I, I have seen them streaming, and I can I can assure you they they are not a like plucky Londoner like washer wife who's like oh look scrub that. Are they a okay. bird? <laughs> they could be a bird. It is Elhawk. Ha ha! I knew it. I feel like um, the plucky Londoner lock though, like their <laughs> alter ego. Look scrub that. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's an H now, but anyway, silent age. Now, thank you. Um, Asara, you are very haphazardly hacking these spiders to pieces. Just let them fly. I'm harvesting. Like, it has knives, but we're we'll using it with a crossbow to hack it. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, the, uh, the the druid is like. I have to get rid of this light hand for me. That's what I'm blaming it on. I mean, if you could, um, Death is also the other way out. <laughs> yes, um, Steph, you, you are a smidge loud. Is there okay. anything you can do? I there's I am sure there is. Hold on. No worries. Stop screaming. <laughs> Option A. <laughs> um, Esmeralda, <laughs> how, how what does your uh, identify spell look like? How do you ritualistically um, cast this? What? How do I ritually cast it? I've never tried to cast it before. Uh -huh. um, like like paint shit on the but, floor. But do thank you, you like, for having it because it's so useful. <laughs> yes, well, that's kind of why I picked it up. Um. Do you just kind of like think... draw like in I'm the dust? I'm thinking I do tarot with reading. Your finger, <laughs> with your finger, just draw the reading. dust with your finger. <laughs> oh, stroke reading. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I like that. Excellent. Yeah. So you you sit kind of cross-legged with this, after taking it out onto the grass outside and kind of beating the soot off it, and you lay it out and place the tarot cards at the focal points around it, <clears throat> and then flip the cards one by one. And as you read into the meaning of the revealed um, designs on the cards, you discover that this is a rug of safe haven. Ooh, that sounds extremely useful. <laughs> that sounds so valuable. <laughs> a, wow, rug, okay. a rug of safe haven. This small three foot by five foot rug is woven with a tree motif and a tasseled fringe. While the rug is laid out on the ground, you can speak its command word as an action to create an extra dimensional space beneath the rug for one hour. What? The extra dimensional space can be reached by lifting a corner of the rug and stepping down as if through a trapdoor in a floor. The space can hold as many as eight medium or smaller creatures. The entrance can be hidden by pulling the rug flat Attacks and spells can't cross through the entrance into or out of the extra dimensional space, but those inside can see out of it as if through a three foot by five foot window in the shape and style of the rug. Anything inside the extra dimensional space is gently pushed out to the nearest unoccupied space when the duration ends. 
the rug can't be used this way again until the next dawn. So you just like, you know, like you see all those places and stuff where you, you, you see the rug and you left off, there's a trap door on there. But we can just go that wherever we want. Mm -hmm. And it's instant. <laughs> yeah, magic, instant exactly short rest, rest yeah. cubby. <laughs> magic yeah. ma magic <laughs> blanket fort. <laughs> On the go, yeah, Airbnb. Exactly. <laughs> it's definitely inside. It's just all like like pillow fort style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Blankets. Yeah, yes, indeed. Definitely. And um, Esmeralda, as you have identified this and you have discovered before anyone else, even myself, you may decide the command word. Oh man, uh... Just, uh yeah. Was the Esmeralda getting command words? She's got the horse command words that none of us remembered. <laughs> She's got the... Yeah. Um, I'll think about it, maybe. Unless anyone else has any good ideas. Yeah, yeah anyone can jump something in. Something silly. <laughs> Guarantee something silly. Mm -hmm. They probably wouldn't say it by accident. <laughs> I don't want to create it by accident. Pina coladas! <laughs> knowing a Saba, we probably would say that more than you'd expect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. These Barovian curse words. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrendous. You're just walking down the street and someone swears and suddenly you go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go in the... Now I can't use it for tomorrow. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so there you go. Our first full item. Um, Send me the later. I got some of it down. Yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll scribble that out for you later. Excellent, thank you. Um, right. Vault That's of magic a event. very Uncle good Bubbles. question that I was asked in Ooh. chat. Ooh, what, what, what? Can we put the rug down on, on the floor on a in the moving wagon and therefore have a moving so. inside huh. That is a very like a interesting. I wagon. love that question. Yes. Sideways on a tree or something? Can you put it on like a really big tree, like? The, oh, limitless. I feel like I have a, a door. <laughs> the tree. I mean, the, it'd be really good to make this to have a rock to the tree. What happens if it rolls off, though? Do you get stuck just, in the extruded ones? Well, it stays where it is. Just famous. Just famous. Stop giving them ideas. <laughs> um, you, you could put it on a table and pretend to be magic, and we could do street performance and get money. Once per day. Yes, I actually am surprisingly good at performance, just saying. <laughs> The specific wording is while the rug is laid out on the ground. The ground is... I mean, the ground is uh, the ground of the wagon. You do magic on the ground. <laughs> what if I put dirt on the floor of the wagon? Look at Michael! I will... <laughs> so cheeky. I will rule that it works on a flat surface that is large, <laughs> that is large enough to encompass the whole of the rug. So I'm not sure a tree trunk won't work, but a wagon would. A wagon floor might, yes. Hey, let's try this. <laughs> and a table. We have a blanket fort. <laughs> I'd be really funny for people actually, because that would be really awkward one time though. Where we go into the wa we go in the wagon, we go under the fort, and we come back out, and there's nothing there because someone tried to follow us into the wagon and they blew it up while we were safely inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, you we get trapped. We come outside and just like, my precious oh, someone had a bad time. Right. <laughs> There's just just There's some stuff I haven't used yet. Just some ethereal horses stood there going, yeah. it was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> like looking at looking at us like, come on. <laughs> Hey everyone, a big hello to our stream team buddy, play nerd allies, Kyle, I assume. Welcome, welcome, my friend. We are discussing the uh, the possibilities <laughs> of a secret blanket foot. <laughs> Using it on the wagon would be wild. You could smuggle a whole platoon of goblins through the city gate. <laughs> is that Argon Boss? It. it is. It's all, of, it's all theirs, Kyle. It's all theirs. They've taken it for themselves. The beacon, the beacon is lit. And I'm <laughs> rebuild, though, that's the problem. Yeah, the, it's, 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 I mean, it's, 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 it's a dura upper, definitely. It's a dura upper. We're gonna have to try one first, gain enough money so that we can then like hire people from what like about, the local you know, towns to like goodwill. Build. They've already planned to build a statue of us. Perhaps they just take that stonemason and this kid and be like, so can you just, just value like, your stonemason friends? You know that we have a project statue, for you? That stone you are know, gonna use. Eternal. Use it on a big building theme, instead. You know. <laughs> We'll put your name in the credits somewhere on the plaque. We'll write your name on the side. You know, you'll live on for centuries and. Yeah, pa Patreons get their name on the side. It's fine. 
<laughs> Disclaimer, we do not have a Patreon. <laughs> I, I mean, like, not our character's Patreon. Patreon. I see, I see. So just the, the lovely people over there in chat, they've probably gone look for it. <laughs> I'm just uh, heading that off at the pass. Um, okay. So, my friends. <laughs> Enjoy using that as you will. Yay! I'm, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there because I can't, I can't, I can't resist. You already have something very similar to this, but you've just never twigged. <laughs> <laughs> and you've had it for a very long time. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's not, it's not a rug, but it's something that works in a fairly similar way. I don't think I do. All right, Charlie. It <laughs> must be me. I, I must think. have something I'm not thinking what, of. An it's, item what? that you have that you didn't use? No. I know, that's why I said it that way. Because <laughs> it's probably me. It's wherever that sword is, they're languishing there together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me! <laughs> Air Genasi, hello. I got a creepy doll. That's probably not it, though. Hey, everyone, everyone. You know how, how often we've seen Air Genesee and the the lovely the lovely chatting over there in that box over there. I saw them on a stream. Well, I didn't see them on a stream. I heard them on a stream. They were over playing with our good friend Dead Aussie Gamer. <laughs> and they're they're much more chaotic, they're much more chaotic I... in real person in real life. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, it Genesee. must be something I. Sorry. Sorry, I was just checking. There's a lovely subscription there from Air Genesee. Thank you so much. Six months. It's been a pleasure. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. It, it must be something that I pulled out from that one room. With all the statues in it, remember? It's something from there, and I have to find those notes, because the only thing of use to me immediately was that leather, leather cuff. Yeah. I mean, if you have anything you'd like me to identify, we do have time. I have to find those notes because that was all the way. That was back when we were not playing Barovia and Beyond. So I have to find those notes somewhere. But <laughs> I mean, I, or I, we could have a very kind GM who might just tell us what we're missing. <laughs> do you? Does anyone have detect I, magic? I probably do. Um, I, I looked at my character sheet. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have it as part of my tarot deck. Mm-hmm. Because you know, a, a combination of detect magic and then the ritual casting of, of yeah. uh, identify. I mean, <laughs> use detect magic to find the item. Yeah, I, have it. I, I just hold my hands up. Look on my person. <laughs> I can cast it once a day um, through my. You just walk th walk through Esmeralda's detect magic spells like beep. <laughs> All right, I'll cast it. I will cast it. What do I notice? Um, there is a music box, a kind of jack in the box thing you got from Blinsky. Which has an aura of magic around it. That I got from Blinsky? Yep, well, someone got it from Blinsky. Somebody has it. Oh, okay. Well, good, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. It's not it wasn't... Me. I bet it's Crick. I bet Crick's got it. <laughs> so yeah, that's, so. <laughs> that's probably true because that's so bird ish of Colby to do is to I take it. Use the music box, yeah. <laughs> and let, me look at his, let me look at his sheet just in case. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh my Did goodness. we get this from Blinsky when we were in in the the toy shop? Yeah. He he gave it to you as as thanks and said that he didn't he didn't need it and hopes it would come in useful. <laughs> when when, well, that's when before was I joined. This? Near when you first met him? It was like towards the start of when you were in Vileki. We go into Esmeralda's there. wagon and there's a zip box there with a note like to my friend Zinnicus. <laughs> You bring music to my world. I'm sorry I had to leave you. <laughs> Craig. You I'm, so, I'm so thrilled that <laughs> it see, probably wasn't me. I don't think Asara would take a music box. She'd be like, meh. Yeah, let's see how much of a magpie Craig is being here. Oh, that's a good point. Did a he magpie? Any, Ooh, he any so of his cute. items before he left? He you know what? Them. He's actually not at work yet, so I can call him. <laughs> or rather, his classes hey, haven't started where's yet. Where's all so I can our magical items, fucker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on stream. Why are you hoarding this? <laughs> mm, I don't see it. Is it with Vanta then? That's what I'm I looking for. Box might be a thing that. Is, he has a bouquet. Colleague. He has a bouquet of funerary flowers. Of course. <laughs> 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 this is fun rifling through his stuff. He does still have the dress, doesn't he? <laughs> 
Um, no, we did we? eventually no. give the dress to the oh, correct people it. after okay. we got the, the wife killed. Right. Well, I mean, mm. sincerely sacrifices, I guess. Like, oh, we give the <laughs> we can give this dress so that we don't lose the family members of this really useful ally. What dress? You mean the scene the scene of the massacre where you discovered Esmeralda standing listlessly? Yes. Indeed. Having killed her. must be in a meeting. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> was it a pretty dress? It was. It was a very lovely wedding dress. Um, she has mm, she has the Strad marionette. We just I hope so. It. A scroll case stuffed full of notes from your studies and prayers. No, I don't think she has it either. <laughs> We're doing a quick, quick treasure hunt here, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with us as we kind of find. We're the so bad to you, John. You give us so many gifts, and we're just like la 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 la. The I don't, think, I don't way. think anyone's clocked it as like a magical, like useful no. item. So we just thought it was like a, a kind of spare toy. So it's probably been like negated to like a oh, little side thing rather than like a thing to put on the character sheet. So that's why it's got forgotten. I was thinking too when John was like when you were like. Look at this nice book of magical items. I'm gonna tell you about a rug. I'm like, wow, we're really dense, but it's just true. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, we do not recognize. Ta-da! John's like, hint, hint, this is my magic book of magic things. That is you the first, find a rug. That is the first pure, the first pure item from that book. Um, Tahi has, ri ri has ri um, got himself a magic item with certain elements drawn from different items in there that have been kind of mashed together, but um, that is the first pure, randomly generated item from that book. I am excited to use it. <laughs> It'll also look great in my wagon, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll look great in my wagon. Absolutely. Fabulous, fabulous. All oh, right, come on, you lot. <laughs> Let's, we can, we can discover this thing later. Um, I mean, you know, we'll say that, we'll, if, if Craig had it, we'll say that he gave it to you. Um, which means I have to try and find out where I kept the notes for it because uh, me too, it was a long time ago. <laughs> do -ba -do -ba -do. Some comments, but I don't have anything about music box. It is from those lovely people over at Hit Point Press who designed and made Humblewood. <laughs> so the, the very exist, the very meaning behind Edgar's existence. <laughs> Um, doo -doo -doo. They also created. There it is. Um, they also created a interesting little module called Hekna. What? <laughs> like fun. <laughs> this one, um, and. In said Hekna, um, they they created. Do you remember you fought those um, you fought those vampires in an Avernus, Steph? <laughs> you fought those vampires in Avernus that have, they were like punks. You know, they had like chains and like Mohicans and stuff. <laughs> oh yes, yes. They're also from that book. <laughs> oh, cool. So, excuse me. It's it's it does not have it does not have bookmarks. So I have to scroll through and find it. So bear with me, my dear friends. Um, now. As you are discussing amongst yourself and doing ritual castings and very, <laughs> very butchering hampers, spiders, butchering spiders in a very <laughs> haphazard way. What's my punishment like for that? I feel everywhere. like I should like get. It wasn't a natural one. It's okay. <laughs> get venom in my eye. <laughs> um, no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Um, okay. You, um, but you do not manage to get any of the uh, the precious, precious uh, venom glands without. <laughs> just spilling their contents everywhere. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, there we go, I found it. I need the kebab. All right. Um, so yes. <laughs> um, as I said, it was it was a music box, which, of course, being Blinsky, played a terrifying sound as you uh, crank the little handle. But then as the roof, as the top, as the, the lid of it pops open, instead of something ghastly jumping out, um, the, you can see a kind of staircase going down inside. <laughs> oh, wow. 
It's like, hey, we never played with it. I mean, I, I, just, I wish she'd given it to like one of the kids to play with or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that we have, we have, have a rug, we could give that one to the kids. <laughs> Not knowing. Yes. And then we wouldn't have to worry about it being used because they don't they don't curse depending on how young the children are. True, true. We wanted to send Colby a message asking if he did give us any of Craig's items before he left. I I called him, so he must be in a meeting this yeah. morning. So I'll ask him for next session. <laughs> I, I did. I was like, this is gonna be fun. Hey Colby, and then and then it went to the boys' mouth. He, he, <laughs> He doesn't pick up for me while he's at work. It's probably wise. Yeah, it's probably wise. Hey, you're live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. <laughs> <laughs> if you swear, you'll activate our carpet, but Princess Priestess will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Saint Sophia will bless you. Okay. You. <laughs> so. It's canon. You mm. have. There's a very nice looking kind of meeting room there. That dining room would make a good. Mm. A good war room with that nice long table yes, there. Yes, that's very true. Get rid of the broken tables. Um, broken chairs, sorry. Uh, and then, yeah, you can get rid of all those. <laughs> all those busts of the various human forms that Argon Vost used to take that are in that hallway there. Um, I'm sure, we'll keep at least probably one of them to not upset the spirit of Argon Vost, but. That's pretty good. Um, get rid of the uh, corpse of the. Uh, the Burgermeister's evil son, yeah. <laughs> which you sent oh, yeah, the oh, mirror, yeah, mirror assassin after. Whoops. <laughs> That's uh, over and, here. Yeah. The bodies of all the, the revenants as yeah. well that could have collapsed after we mm -hmm, kind of freed, mm -hmm. their, freed their souls. Yes, maybe um, maybe a little burial out there in the grave. I mean, there are already three handily open graves there for yeah, you. Yeah, we could put them yeah. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> put them back at their graves. Um, the we are spiders. Um, Bush are the friendly spiders. The the <laughs> sm the smoke little smoke quasi dragon thing is still kicking around. By the way, when you when you start to explore upstairs, Aww. it's still oh, flap, flap, flapping around the halls. <laughs> Does it react? Um, it just just kind of like flaps around you curious curiously and just just mind yeah, you know, just has a fun little time just popping around. <laughs> Does the statue of Argonaut still occasionally bro breathe out cold air? <laughs> Uh, it's, yes, it's still broken. If that's what you, mean. <laughs> you, could, you could try and fix it if you want, um, but it could be quite dangerous. Um, yeah. That'll be something that we could maybe get the the, the packs because they are a bit more magically inclined to potentially try and fix it and at least set some sort of trigger so that it doesn't start when any of us come past. Okay. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Um, now, as you can see, up on the uh, on the second floor there, I've moved chats over. Um, you can see the various bedrooms and things there, which are available for your usage. Um, some of them with rather shoddy bedding, but uh, can be fixed up. The kids can all have their own room. <laughs> <laughs> Stella still definitely wants this her own room. This space for more people to collect, like, you mean? Oh. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Um, yeah. Now. <laughs> you mentioned um, all of will be inside this house. Now, definitely one thing. want a tower room. Well, Zenicus is like, I bagsy the tower, and you go running up. Let's say you go running up those stairs, like you know, by the um, chapel there. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh -huh. what, what, uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. what, are, what are you gonna do to me? Um, you find something interesting. Oh. Um, as you, I'm gonna bring you over onto um this map, which I also need to turn off the dynamic lighting on. Go away. <laughs> it's the black screen. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is some dynamic boy. lighting. <laughs> um, as you go racing, as you go racing up the tower there to Bagsy, one of those tower rooms. As you go up to that top floor where there was that massive hole through in the roof, which you think might be quite useful um, for Krig to come visit. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just like, uh -huh. I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> is a slide for the kids? Or <laughs> slide is no, no, open no. window. Um, down there is fine. I actually, um, I actually suggested to um, Colby, and, and we just didn't have time to talk about it in character last week. Um, he, he, they might, he might actually bring the uh, he might bring the Queen of Birds here. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually, quite cool. She could be so in that. We have got the, the the tower where the the bell and stuff used to be, the light and stuff. Um, well, I was thinking more like you know the room where the head revenant was, like it's kind uh, of like a yeah. kind of royal like, royal yeah. chambers, <laughs> and it has that nice yeah, you know. Bird queen as well. Well, they turn the chair Aracocra. around, though, it's really awkward that they were looking away when you entered the room. <laughs> now, can you see what I see? Look, can we see what you see? 
Um, well, uh, what, yes. what, what can you see? Um, <laughs> yeah. Zonicus, uh, uh, wait, as, the top? as you run up to the top of that, um, of those stairs there, you screech to a halt on the cobblestones, oh. the flagstones there, the as dollop? you see ghostly guardians standing yeah. in armor, all, all in the same armor, if you take a moment to actually dash around and have a look here and there, and you see <laughs> slightly less uh, um, uh, lovely, lovely aggressive than that, <laughs> right? Um, you see these these ghostly guardians, um, seemingly the the lingering spirits of members of the Knights of the Silver Dragon, um, still on duty and Can standing, nice? standing in those towers. And if you go up to the rooftop, um, up at the top there, um, you can see that they are also yeah. manning the siege engines that are still intact. Yeah. And they don't seem to be aggressive towards us in any way. They're also manning the, the siege engine that's completely destroyed. <laughs> um, no, the, the one... Um, as you as you kind of skid to a halt, halt on the stairs there, Zenicus, as you see this thing in front of you, it turns and just does, does a ghostly salute. Oh, well, that's much better. Than that really saying. awkward salute back. Like, <laughs> kind of like... Like, I get this is fine. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Try saluting with the other hand, see what he does. <laughs> Double salute. <laughs> <laughs> he, he steps out of the way of the window, thinking you want to look at something. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is it that top, top tower? Because I see there's lots of. Is that just lots of birds that we have for message birds, or are they just random birds? Are, are you. Tower? Like, over here? Yeah. Um, that's where the beacon is. Ah. Beacon of birds. <laughs> and lots of ravens, yes. Yeah. That's so we can communicate with the Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So there you go. That's on the roof. Nice. I mean, gonna have to get some deck chairs out there for getting those sun rays of Argon Falls Hall. <laughs> nice, the ones nice beacon tan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm going to go back to the other map because it's more interesting. <laughs> There's more to see. Um, so yeah, that... Where... Hang on. Which... Oh yeah, sorry, it must be... So yeah, the third floor is where the um, big kind of like royal audience chamber yeah, looking chamber thing is. Yeah. Yeah. And then this second floor could be kind of like for you guys. And then the first floor for you guys as well. I'm sure we can manage. We had zero floors, and now we're at two floors. I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an upgrade. The, the tower had several floors as well. They just were unusable. Um, now, <laughs> you do hear a commotion out, out the front of the uh, of the mansion, and you hear you hear the telltale <laughs> in, inefficient and ineffectual <sighs> as the, <laughs> the dragon statue fails to destroy intruders. <laughs> the doorbell, nothing else. Yeah, we all, every now and again we just hear <laughs> <laughs> and you hear <laughs> you hear a voice calling out and um, Edgar you hear some of your Mapak friends um, who are just kind of like lounging about the place licking their wounds and stuff um, call out um, a friendly uh, hi hello uh, and you hear a voice everyone hello is, it, is, is everyone okay yeah. uh, is that Maxine uh, hello hello it's been so long what? <laughs> mes amis where are you? I cannot find you. Here is it. Here is it, Kadash. I'm stealthed. You can hardly see me. I'm just lurking here. <laughs> Don't make me stare at you. <laughs> um, so, Maxine and a few of the forest, um, a forest folk. Hey, Cory Moonhunter, good to see you again. Um, a few of the forest folk seem to have made their way to the tower on Lake Baratok and fetched your friends. And there is the telltale Menzo Branzen accent of <laughs> of the horse. Um, there should be Cory Moon Hunter. It's over on the homepage, which should be popping up. So it's as... the switch overlay should have like a. <laughs> uh, yeah, you want you want a computer? If they're on mobile, they can't see that, unfortunately. Ah. Uh... Um, if you're on a computer, the Twitch, um, the Twitch overlay has the D&D Beyond sheets for you to look at. 
Um, otherwise, I can put a link in chat for the homepage, which has everything, thanks to my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex. A.K.A. Thug and Candlekeep Mistress. Thug. Thug. <laughs> is it like a, an Ug or an Oog? Uh, that's actually, everyone just pronounces it Thug. <laughs> just, this is a I mean, how random, of them. just a random... <laughs> oh, look, it's us. Sorry, I, for, I forgot it. It plays, it plays the live stream when we're yeah, going to... Yeah, every time I click on the website, I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hello, it's me Hello, again. Me. And again, oh. and again. Okay, um, let's stick that in chat. Um, Cordy Moon Hunter, here you are. We are exhausted. Oh, we well, some of us are. Ah, isn't <sighs> it great to be dead? Isn't it great to be undead? <laughs> Everything is great. Um, does that, is that awesome? Cordy Moon Hunter said the, there is the the overlay, the button, the icons there. That I think that's for the um, uh, Prime subscription. Yeah. To the sheets, not sure. Uh, if you click on the, the icons, it should give like a mini sheet, and then on that there's a button that says view character sheet to the top right. Or on mine anyway, I don't know if is that like a private exclusive thing, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder. It should be available to anyone. Sorry, I never get to see that bit. Esmeralda has no active conditions. Show off. Oh. There's no need, don't need to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I forgot to take off the exhaustion thing from before I realized that I wasn't... Uh, ah, I see, I see. It's funny, it's funny that pops up in your I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. My difference. The others have arrived. There is a clink, clank, clunk, clank, clank, as a little Modron brandishing their sword triumphantly. Cubert. <laughs> yes, Cubert. Cubert approaches. And they brought all the resources and stuff from the tower as well. The uh, yeah. Little yeah, basically. Wagon of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have think. We just um, abandoned that tower. Outpost to have. I mean, it's there. I mean, and it's it's got the um, it's got the password and everything on the door, so it's not going to get mm. broken into probably. True, true, true. Mm. Also, nice, potentially a nice little eerie for more of the the Aracocra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not for the ones who don't. Any more children you find? But I do remember the windows were pretty smashed with after all the birds rushed in and attacked us. <laughs> Indeed. Right. So. You take some time um, spreading out through the building, assigning rooms yep, yep. and the like. A, a, a quick clean. Just like a, a, like <laughs> yeah, just, shoving, like just, just kind of sweeping stuff under the carpet, <laughs> realizing that it's an infinite hole. <laughs> <laughs> then um, forgetting as soon as the carpet runs out, all the stuff just comes back out. We're like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> just the children's book, isn't it? I'll go through a custom decision and just like try and clean up the worst bits, I guess, one square foot at a time. No problem, no problem. Um, so, yeah. You um, make yourselves relatively comfortable and get settled in there, and then you find yourselves down in that um, dining room, come meeting room, next to the shrine there, and you are there with Maxine, and uh, she looks at you. Well, my friends, this is. Uh, a little more spacious than we are used to, but um, what is the plan? Well, for now, I think the plan is for us to get these people some sleep. Well, it's, it's just a little bit early for that, wouldn't you say? I look over at everybody else. Is it too early? How, I mean, how are you all like, feeling? <laughs> it's like almost midday. <laughs> hey, I don't want to play than that. Never mind. Yeah, because we slept. We, we went to... Oh, no, we went to sleep in the morning. And we had, like, yeah. a bit of a sleep. So it's probably like mid afternoon. Indeed. Esmeralda is tired of all of us. She says, Take a nap! <laughs> I can't deal with your shit. So I can't enter the house. Not allowed in. I've yeah, sorry. Yeah, multiple the right houses. I've tried multiple doors. Excuse me? I've tried multiple doors. I'm not allowed in. <laughs> um. Still got the, the blocks. No allowed. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, dynamic lighting is turned off, but dynamic lighting barriers still block movement. Ah, <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> sorry. Got a light. Let us in. It's that means let us in. <laughs> there you go. Try that. Oh, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> hey, Ardana. I believe I spotted earlier this week that it was your birthday. So, all tangible on middle doubles, I must. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Yes. Happy birthday! Oh 
めでとうございます。おめでとうございます。No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Luckily, Stevie Wonder wasn't Japanese. Okay. <laughs> no, but he was the president of the US, according to my students, students today. They, mi- they mixed up pronouns when they were talking about Stevie Wonder and then how he related to Nelson Mandela. Then they wanted to talk about Nelson Mandela becoming president of South Africa, mm-hmm. but they forgot the pronouns mixed up, so they just said that Stevie Wonder became president. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to him. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you are all in the war room, as we should call it. It has those rather resplendent statues there, <laughs> ready for action. You have to find some way to animate those later. And you um, um, are sat there, yes, and Maxine is like, well, I, I, I always find in this kind of situations that uh, a, a list of some sort is uh, always a good thing. What are your options? Uh-huh. Like in general, or? No,、oh, what do you have to do? For, I mean. Chore list. We all stand and stare at Edgar. <laughs> like,、uh, well, you're supposed to lead it somewhere. <laughs> well, of course. We know where to go next, actually. We have to escape see, the thing. Each of these beads will help us restore the sights of the Lady of the Plains, but we only have two. One more is needed. And it is held by the druids of Yester Hill. So we need to get that before doing anything else. They were the、else. bad ones, aren't they?、Mm. Yes. They're the ones who worship. Or, what's your allies with Strahd? So that seems like that's where we're headed. And、uh, didn't you say that、uh, you, you had.、Uh... Uh, colleagues,、uh, potential allies at the Wizards of Wentz? Yes. We really should check up on them. We did not necessarily leave. Like last time we saw them, things were not going well. I see. Well,、um, I think as many allies as possible is, is、uh, the way to go, yes? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, now we have the safe place. I don't know if their winery is safe. Oh, sorry, my, my undercomment came through there a moment. As, as many eyes as possible. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we gathered. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 like, we've, we've been with us for a while. We're, we're starting to pick up some undercomment. It's funny, isn't it? How, how <laughs> certain words in undercomment and common are so close. And you're fantastic. And,、uh, yeah. <laughs> But I heard there's, there's no undercomment for entrepreneur. Is that so? They are a resourceful bunch. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, the handsome DM may use this as he wishes.、Um, I shall go and try and find ourselves a handsome DM, but thank you,、oh. Kyle, nonetheless. <laughs> how, how oh, no. How rude. How rude to myself. <laughs> to thank, pl- thank you, Kyle. Player, so you get to roll on a player. No, I want to for myself. <laughs> There, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm, keeping, I'm keeping it so one of you uses yours. Because you, you all have one, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna have both. Oh, was it a disadvantage? Yeah, yeah sorry, excuse me. Advantage on one of us. Thank you. So please、Kyle. do hoard it for yourself. Yeah, no, keep, feel free to keep it. That's, that's why I got confused. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> and you're like, like, I'll keep it. We're like, we're not arguing, to be honest. <laughs> he was like, yeah, he was like, like, like <laughs> he was like, DMs unite, but you said give it to the players. Oh, disadvantage. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a d4. Boop.、Uh. And the. Disadvantage from the fabulous Kyle from p l a y n e r d Allies goes to. I hope this is flying around the screen at home as well. And comes to a stop. There. It is. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're Happy welcome. Happy birthday, Asara. <laughs> I'm not on Twitch, so I didn't know. I was like, oh, no one's reacting really sad. That means it's me. <laughs> Engage with us.、Um, okay. I, you didn't need to do that. I already got venom all over the floor. <laughs> And you need disadvantage for that. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah just comes up after shaking off her weapons. She's like, don't go in there for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Edgar, could you get your friendly spiders to just eat the remains of the other spiders and then just leave? <gasps> Cannibals? 
that's that one uh, way to clean it up. Yes, Just I'm sure they well. have quite an appetite after that. For little ones. As he, like... No one go outside for a while, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> as the two-star horsemen. <laughs> you may feast. And the, they are like, put aside. Get her away. That's horrifying. Oh yeah, my god, close oh, wow, the door. That, that yeah, just gently close the door. quite yeah. large. <laughs> like that awkward every now and large crunching like, sounds. When, when we're, we're all like talking and then there's like a second of silence and then there's just crunch noises and we all start speaking again just to kind of drown out the noises. <laughs> it's more so, it's more so slurping, like a lot oh, of god. slurping noises. <laughs> Oh, the ones that they oh. serve injecting to digest it from the inside versus they serve out of the insides. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Nature, it's great. Uh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so. So we've got to go visit these druids. First, we need to go find some allies at the winery. We should mm. probably stop through the lackey and see how much it would cost <laughs> to get some stone masons out here. And uh, Zinicus. Carpentries. Carpentries. Are you not concerned for your sibling? No? Yeah. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard nothing. Have you heard something? Maxine. I know, but should we not uh, investigate, try and find her? I mean, that's always like on the plan. Have you heard something? What have you heard? No, Tell I... me, Maxine! <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I haven't heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> the prop work is amazing here on Phoenix Work here, bro. Uh... <laughs> um, the um, she's like, no, no, I, I just remember that you you mentioned that she was here somewhere in the valley, and I thought that you would want to find your your family. I'm sure. Maybe we'll ask Blinsky on the way past the lackey as well. See. The last person that we know who saw them. Then she is probably stitched up inside some mannequin somewhere. <laughs> that was just a great cover today, Maxine. No, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not exactly the nice thing to say. No? Oh, maybe I have the wrong of Blinsky. It just freaks me out a little. I mean, yes. Let's not you're wrong. Perhaps just that it was slightly delicate. I was just suspicious of the glue he was using. <laughs> he kept eating these candies. Gelatin candies. <laughs> now, you... Um, yes, so the, there is mention of the Wizard of Wines, there is mention of Yester Hill, there is... Um, Asara has had visions of strange... Oh, that's why I can't find it. Amber constructs a different in the mountains. Are you talking about... I, uh, I, had oh, I just said, yeah, that's true. The old That's right. I was trying to figure out what Michael's talking about. What? what, what? Yeah. Oh, the, what, old what, what? Role, the old Curse of Strad game, I had like a, a, a current quest tracker to keep track oh, of Oh, I see, I see. Oh. I was wondering, I couldn't find it. I'm like, where's it gone? I might be able to grab it with the uh, transmographer. So, the stuff that we were up to. Let's have a look here. Curse of Strad, Curse of Strad. Boom. It's called, I just called it Quest Log. Uh, it wasn't a page. You put it up originally, but I, I kept it up to date. Thank you. Not a character either. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Riveting stuff to watch back home. Thank you, everyone, sticking around. <laughs> Everyone's like shouting, I don't know, where did you take us? <laughs> um, deck? No, nope. handouts. That sounds good. Yeah, it was just a handout, just called Questlog. Questlog, okay. It's alphabetical. Q, 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 Q. Uh, double the way down. P. Quest log. Boop. Um, where's that gone? <laughs> there it is. It was down the bottom. I shall move it to the top. Shoop. Ah. Here we are. So, pretty good. In the top part, we don't necessarily need to worry about now. We got all that done. So yeah, find and rescue the children kidnapped by the werewolves. Done? Question mark. <laughs> Find and rescue Asara's friend, Kamaria Shattermast. Not done. Not done. Find a safe haven for Arena. Done? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. 
Pizza uh, pending. We did. We deliver. We um, delivered the presents to Arabelle and helped Arabelle investigate the Wizard's Tower. We did that. Investigate the Mad Mage. Yes, there was a Mad Mage north of Lake Sarovich. True, indeed. Uh, the wine. We have to go to the winery. Mm -hmm. What really happened with that town drunk fisherman Pluto that caused him to sacrifice a girl into the, the lake? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, whatever happened to that? Oh my god, do you not remember that? That was the best time. I, we I snuck into there. his house. I think I was there. I don't think she was there yet. That's before that's I joined the campaign. No, no that was before yeah, that's the joint. We snuck into the house of what this guy like... What are you guys like, doing? <laughs> we saved the girl. Yep. With some very cool teleporty flyy action. Indeed. Yeah, it was really neat. But, yeah, some fisherman tried to sacrifice a girl to the dark ones in the lake. So we stopped that, but... He got taken away, but we don't really know what happened to him and what the hell that was all about. It was a mention of the Dark Ones, which was also mentioned who? with the By sister. The so, like, uh. maybe, maybe that might give us a clue. Um, uh -huh. Got the amulet. Yester Hill, the batshit crazy druids. Yeah, that's what we're getting into now. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready to roll on that one. I like, I like on the map that Xenicus is the only one in the room. He's just like in there just talking yeah, to himself. I'm just like, <laughs> I've just got all these, all these papers and plans and everyone else is just like cleaning and I'm just like, guys, guys, <laughs> who left? <laughs> I'll clean this up a little bit and delete the ones that we've finished. Nicely done. Okay. So. What's... Would you like to do? It is. It is getting after. You know, you've been cleaning up, getting settled in, discussing your various options. What before you head off to sleep? What is the thing you decide to do first? Are there Discuss. any magical items that need to be identified while we're thinking about magical items to be identified? <laughs> I don't have any others. Any tickets? Any tickets? Oh, I have a small stone with a nice bit of quartz running through it, which prompts magical energy. Wow. That seems like something. Yeah. Can I figure out what that does? Where did you get it? Um, I'm guessing it was from maybe the hag? or I didn't write down where it was from. It's just in my bag. Oh, need that. <laughs> needs that. Needs that. Let's see if it's in my nose anywhere. Hey, Baron Dragonborn. Welcome, welcome. I Good to see it's you. For combat, though. Uh, let's have a look. You think you think um, Baba Lysa had I think it? Is, or afterwards. Um, it also came with a set of pipes. Um, a pouch, some oil, some gems. Okay, dokie. We're having a quick check over in the area of Berez here. Um, yes, I think it was her stuff. What was the first thing you mentioned? A small stone with a nice bit of quartz running through it, which thrums with magical energy. Ah, yes. Okay. So, yeah, you, you're basically going to just lay them all out and do them one by one? Or can you do them all, in, like, as a batch? Can you do it all in uh, one That's go? an excellent question. Uh, I don't know. What, what does Identify say? Does it say one small item or a set of items? I'm just checking now. Give me a second. It's uh, curious. Uh, one object. That okay. you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. Sure. But, I mean, it's like, you know, it's ten minutes each, so it's fine. Um, okay, so, I'll just, do you have... Was there a vial of oil? There was. Ah, that is oil, and you can add these. These will all be on um, D&D Beyond. Um, okay. That is oil of sharpness. <laughs> I like this what that sounds like. clear gelatinous oil sparkles with tiny, ultra-thin ultra silver shards. The oil can coat one slashing or piercing weapon, or up to five pieces of ammunition. Um... Applying the oil takes one minute, and then for one hour, the coated item is magical and has plus three to attack Ooh. and damage rolls. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, plus three is okay. mental. Okay, so that's uh, on a sword or, or some ammunition, if you want to be shoot okay. shooting. Hey, Agony K. 
Oh, sorry, she got away. I'm trying to sneak. Um, <laughs> there are a couple of spell scrolls, yes? Yeah. Did you get those already? No. Okay, one is for mask your wounds. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, Marin got her. Identify, identify the locker. <laughs> and <laughs> um, the, the other one, um, very usefully, is Revivify. Oh, that is <laughs> very useful. Yes, indeed. And Michael, I'm gonna go. Use, I'm gonna go with those rules that you sent for scrolls. Cool. Nice. So that anyone can use them, but there is like caveats to it. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah, I, I think only people that have them on their spell lists already is just stupid. <laughs> Especially when yeah. it's like generally cleric and rune spells, which they can change to those spells whenever they want anyway. Exactly. <laughs> kind of get it for stuff like warlock, where you're kind of limited to how you can change your your things. But generally, spell scrolls are for classes that can just chop and change their spells anyway. So. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to read this here. <laughs> Esmeralda misses nothing, absolutely. Um, <laughs> cheers, Charlie. <laughs> so, by the way, everyone, as before I just settle in to read this out to you lovely people, um, uh, do join Asara, wherever she's got to. And <laughs> she's had to be done. She's, she's, she's velveting all over the place today. Um, <laughs> Asara. <laughs> <laughs> that <was> smooth. <laughs> DM Charlie. Colby. Who is in a meeting? <laughs> we think, and no, think myself, as we start our little wee adventure off towards the Feywild, towards the Feywild, not into the Feywild just yet. But yes, we are kicking off our wild beyond the Witchlight. Ten and a half hours from now. <laughs> oh wow! So do join us if you can for that. 10 a.m. Japanese time, 8 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. and Canada and Brazil. Oh no, not Brazil. It's 10 p.m. in Brazil, I believe. Um, okay. So, Ooh, what's this? What's this? Quarter Moon Hunter. Some magic items allow the user to cast a spell from the item, often by expending charges from it. The spell is cast at the lowest possible spell and caster level. Uh, doesn't expend any of the user's spell slots and requires no components unless the item's description says otherwise. Bolt upright! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> As I sit, bolt upright. Thank you for the follow. Um, by the way, yeah, folks, if, if you are not already, please do... <laughs> yes, Sammy, I'm sorry, in the middle of the night in Europe. <laughs> it is going to be it's going to be 1 a.m. in in the UK, 2 a.m. on the uh, I mean, on the feel free to join in. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> if if we see you we'll be we'll be impressed. Um so and yeah, sorry. Yeah. Man, as, yeah, work time for the others. Um now <laughs> no it's oh, sorry. Um at 2 a.m. Oof. Where are you at, Thamio? I forget which which uh, of the countries you are in. I think it's been mentioned before. I know um, um, Adana's in Scandinavia somewhere. Not Germany, as I mistakenly thought last time. So, sorry about that. Ah, cool, cool, cool. That's right, yeah, I remember now. That was mentioned before. Um, so yes, a Masco Wind Sp uh, scroll, a Revivify scroll, and these scrolls, okay, This is uh, these are our rules. I will send it to the chat as well, so for your perusal later on but for those watching who want to know what's going to be going on um, and I'll post it in the discord as well um, if the spell is on your class's spell list and of a spell level that you can normally cast you can just read the skull, scroll and cast it without any of the material components very good for revivify <laughs> with its bling bling that it requires I believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right it needs a big chunky Heaven diamond doesn't it 300, 300 okay um, now, if the spell is on your class's list, but of a higher level than you can normally cast, or not on your list, but a level you can cast, there is a um, ability check, DC 10 plus the spell's level, with your spellcasting ability, whichever that is. 330, thank you, Elhawk. Um, if the spell is neither on your class or a level that you can normally cast, then it's DC 11 plus the spell's level. And if you cannot cast spells at all, it is a DC 12 plus the spell's level. So a bit tricky in certain circumstances, but that'd be a fantastic Hail Mary. Like, all the casters are dead yep, <laughs> like or unconscious. Is. And someone's like, he's like, I can't cast, but I'm going to try to revivify. So who wants this scroll then? Because, I mean, I've been holding on to it. 
<laughs> okay. I, th I, was like, I thought it was bizarrely spells. specific. Okay. <laughs> you can cast spells, so probably more attuned to using it than I. Okay. Wizard. It, it, if you collapse, I'm sh just tell me what pocket is it. <laughs> In this one. <laughs> right. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm a gonna this pocket here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pre 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 discuss that. Um, okay, so yes, there we go. We have oil of sharpness. We have two spell scrolls. We have a pouch. This is not so useful. <laughs> not so useful. This one. A pouch containing ten plus one sling bullets. <laughs> Nobody has a sling. Nope. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense when I brought my I arm. Mean... No. <laughs> um, I mean, last is resort, I guess. Indeed. Um, just, just throw the stones. <laughs> <laughs> the pipes, pipes are interesting. Yes, the pipes, the pipes are Calling. haunting. Oh, no, no, they're haunting. These are a set of pipes of haunting, Smeralda. Ooh. Yes, again, I in D&D I'm good at words. You must be proficient with wind instruments. No, oh, I don't think I am. I'm proficient with a liar. Never mind. Uh, sorry. Um... They have th three charges. You can use an action to play them and expend one charge. It creates an eerie spellbinding tune. Each creature within 30 feet of you that hears you play must succeed on a 15, a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one oh, minute. So cool. This is um, Orangey. Orangey's little gerbine had a set of these in our <laughs> Humblewood one shot. Um, a creature that fails the saving throw can repeat it at the end of each turn. Uh, effect all there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty useful stuff. And then they get uh, charges back at dawn. Um, Charlie, what we got going on here? Also, with items, if it's a concentration spell, the character must hold the concentration, not the item. <laughs> I just got schooled on that last night. Excellent. <laughs> oh, by the way, Charlie, too. Charlie, did that halfling survive? I, I was a, there was a they opened up a session of one of Charlie's games with a halfling on two failed saves and about to roll their third. <laughs> so that was the start of the session. <laughs> oh boy. I hope they made it. And finally, this stone with this vein, mm. this uh, nice, uh, nice, pretty pattern. It is a stone of good luck, Ooh. aka a luck stone. <laughs> In brackets. Wow, cool. just, just saying that might be useful for someone who can go berserk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was also thinking that. Requires attunement, unfortunately, but. While this polished agate is on your person, you gain plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. Every damn one. <laughs> do you have a two slot open? I do. All right. I, I don't know. Asara's Asara's Asara got that lycanthropy going on as well. I think she should hold on to it until she's you know she's uh, good and sorted. I mean, she she doesn't do it every day. It's just done it once a month, so. It's That's true. true. That's true. Fair. I'm happy to give it to you. If the any, team's any, okay with any that. qualms, anyone? Or well, forever hold your but... peace. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it makes the most sense, perhaps, for you. You can probably do the most help. Yeah. So generally, roll the most saving throws as I'm in the front line and constantly getting hit by stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay. So okay. do you have that to your inventory then? Yep, so that's the that's, uh, thing. Final traumatic welcome in, Raiders. We are hanging out, divvying out magic items, and celebrating our conquering of Argon Vostholt. We have a base. Do we crack out Matt Colville's <laughs> book here and give you all of your uh, expansion options? <laughs> I don't think you have enough gold to do the full-on Strongholds and Followers treatment. <laughs> hey, everyone, We're welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. I hope you had a fantastic session. Very, that, that stone's lovely when you click a tune and all your numbers go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Very nice Enjoy. indeed. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, that said, I believe it is bedtime for the, for the characters. Don't worry. Not ours yet. Soon, but not quite. I've made to go stare in a corner for four hours. <laughs> it's a Blair Witch project this. <laughs> we, just, we just have to meditate for four hours. So there's just like I like the idea that just me and us are just like meditating for like four hours and like you're like just staring at us for the other for those four hours. <laughs> and then the patch just passed out the gora. Do really slightly maybe. <laughs> I 
go with it. Keep one sleeper with us at all times. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. <laughs> one must sleep for us. Because we cannot I sleep for ourselves. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, and that can close this too. Which we take consciousness. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch you guys do your thing, I guess. Don't mind me. <laughs> spooky, spooky Esmeralda. Oh, you're okay, okay, okay. Does our <laughs> sleep go un unhindered with the light of Argonlost? The beacon erupting from the tower towards the back of the mansion bathes the scene in an eerie blue light, as if a full moon shone down. But uh, sorry, do not an involuntary <laughs> like, transform. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> and another hole gets torn in the wall. It's protective aura bathes this immediate vicinity and keeps away those nasty night hags. And you dream whatever you would like to dream. Nice. Asara, there must have been there must have been a splinter or something. Like, you know, these beds, they're a bit broken up and, and you know, like, um, broken and, and, uh, some, some nasty jagged bits of wood here and there. You, you must have missed one as you kind of roll over on, on wherever you're sleeping. And there's a there's a sharp kind of pang, pang in your side that wakes you up at one point in the evening. Could you? There's um, a what that wakes me up at one point. In the kind of a short short pang of pain in your side, like a stab stabbing kind of pain. Um, oh, like, like, as if you don't I heard up. penguin, and I was like, <laughs> no, that's wrong. Tiny penguin, penguin inside. You assume <laughs> you assume right. Um, <laughs> you, um, yeah, it must have been like a splinter or something from the broken b bed frame um, that sure, you uh, had. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, could you just, just, um, you yeah, while we're here, um, roll me a Christmas saving throw? <laughs> Charisma saving throw? Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? You should get the luck stone. <laughs> 13. News is coming. A 13. Yeah. Notice. 13, notice. not a 30. <laughs> One three. The unluckiest of numbers. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you. So, various lengths of time, be they four or six hours, go by, and you get a long rest. You may all Yay. take the benefits of a long rest. <laughs> no longer exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> Sounds like what? Um, God, what were those guys called that made this ridiculous food? What were they called? Those YouTubers. They made this just crazy, crazy food. There's items. so many of those now. Uh, yeah, are you the, talking the, about the, the guys who make the like the guys. bacon? On top of bacon, bacon, bacon on top of bacon. bacon, bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Epic meal something. <laughs> was it epic meal time? Epic meal time. It was epic meal time, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so spouse. <laughs> Natsukashi. Natsukashi. Natsukashi, no. No? Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just, <laughs> we have we have all at some point, or still are in Japan, <laughs> for those of you <laughs> who are unaware. Oh, right. I just want to check something quickly. Where are we there? How's everyone doing? Um, everyone, you're level nine at the moment, aren't you? No. Unless you would like to make that ten. <laughs> then yes. Not quite. Yet. I liked Michael's <laughs> tee at the end of that. Unless you'd like to make it ten. <laughs> this, this Christmas soon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, so yes, all of you, all of you wake up. Um, Zenicus mysteriously wakes up with a lump of coal next to his bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, that little smoke dragon, what a bastard! <laughs> no, yeah. no level up for Christmas just yet. Um, sorry, that was supposed to happen. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I was like, what did happen? <laughs> no, so I didn't think I cast a spell. Yeah, sorry, it's okay. You understand all of your friends perfectly. Aha! <laughs> perfect. Poi, perfect. Um, okay. So, the morning 
has broken. Like the first morning? No. It was <laughs> like like the twenty first morning. <laughs> um <laughs> just random number. Uh, then um yeah. You are heading sorry, what was the what was the uh, decision? Was it was it the white? We're going the to dance? there, but I mean that's to the north. The isn't it? South. To the south. By which I mean west. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like Aha. I was hoping to go like, through Valaki at one point because uh, we've still got some stuff we need to sell off me. as well. But yeah, we'll need to do that another time. Because we do need to. Uh, so I'm gonna write that in our little quest log thing. Remember to sell all the crap that we have. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's it. As Edgar stretches ah, at last, the night service. Up. Just like pointing at Asara and staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We will test it now. <laughs> As uh, Edgar waddles over to Asara. Asara, are you ready for the ritual? Just do it. Just do okay. it. <laughs> well, sit down. I'm going to need your help with this, okay? Meditate. Yeah. Think. Oh, well, we're fucked. <laughs> Think. Am um, I doing it right? A little or with that's corrupted, and you're trying to pull it away, as if taking the yang. That's what I need you to focus on. Pat, pat. Sporlax? What? Are you ready? Uh, as I'll ever be. All right, then. And Edgar takes Sporlax and has Sporlax rest on top of the solid head. <laughs> and Edgar sits down and starts to meditate. All right, you may begin. And Edgar just, uh, as uh, Sporlax just, and like little spore dust kind of flutters about. This is demeaning. <laughs> as Edgar puts out a little deep breath. The little white spots in his mushroom start to glow, and little orbs of light start to come out and slowly swirl around the dust. No, I got one in my eye. Come at it. <laughs> and as they come at a stop, they all enter a song. And after one last deep breath, and pulls out the orb of light now as he casts great, greater restoration. Curse be gone! <laughs> Dearly beloved, <laughs> this drow <Well>. is <laughs> clean. That's false. <laughs> and then I just. Bing! <laughs> Back at, <laughs> I flick him off right towards uh, Edgar's hat. <laughs> Clean and ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> unclean, unclean. <laughs> uncouth, uh, uncouth at least. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, How do you feel? No different. Ah! Yeah, no different. Yeah. Did it work? I guess we won't know until there's a new one. I wouldn't. Yeah, because that's something we just want to test. <laughs> I would say well, well, I guess I get thing. chained up I, one I throw, more. I, I, I pick up one of the bolts and throw it across the room. Ahaha. Ahaha. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Then chase it yourself. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was prepared because I did it myself. I held the, with the willpower. <laughs> so you just like, sure. 
What do you smell? I smell. Is that something that is ambient when I'm not a? Uh, no, I'm just being weird. When I'm not a wolf. No, I is mean, that I, something... I do have that, but I don't think normal. I think that's yeah. Something I wanted to check. Be, be in control of your wolf form. Oh, I can't. Is Merilda? You know, I do smell something, and then I lift up your arm Pretty and go. No, no. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I mean, we've been adventuring for a while. It probably is. <laughs> I need to replace. Um, Esmeralda, I, I think I think your detect magic would, would detect a curse as well, wouldn't it? I don't know, does it? Does lycanthropy like count as a magical curse? Um, 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 we determined last um, session that it does. Would I still have it active, though? Um, we so need fan art of Esmeralda in an airport uniform with a little wand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I yeah, have to recast it. objects that bears day. magic. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd have to recast it, so it's the next day. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can recast it, so that's my charge class for the day. Okay. Um, but yeah, I guess it says creature with an aura of magic, or that, that bears magic, and I learned it's school magic for many, so if it is magic, it's okay, we'll yes, determine it's that it is a curse. <laughs> um, ultimately, I mean, I can also detect poison and disease, one or the other. <laughs> uh, Excuse me. Yeah. Looking really good. Let's have a quick look here. Take a moment and reach out with your senses, and various pings go off around the room as all everyone's magical items. The room lights up like a Christmas tree, <laughs> and at Asara's core, there is. A dark, twisted source of magic. What kind of magic? Um, she is still cursed. Well, Sarah, I think you don't feel any different, and if what I'm sensing is accurate, then this is not what we hope for. Sorry. No! No, no, no! I... What are we gonna do? Stop in a cave every month? Every moon? Well, once a month. Perhaps Edgar can help next time. He seemed to have helped you quite a bit last time as well. We will worry about it when the time comes, but as of now, we do not have an answer for it yet. Let me see where you get rid of it, though. When this land is full of curses, there must be people who can break those curses. Either they're full of curses means there's not enough people to go around to break them. You're not helping. There must be something. He's not helping, but he's being real. Stella. Stella kind of ghosts into the room. Yeah. The, you. the daughter of one of the higher up members of society in Valaki. <laughs> who uh, is no longer a problem. <laughs> evil lady that she was. And do you remember um, that evil wizard who's <laughs> corpse you recently got rid of you rescued Stella from his curse that he has put upon her making her think that she was a cat or rather Iamaris cured her of that and she drifts into the room 
Good morning, everyone. Um, where is Lady Vanta? I like her. Is she no longer with She's you? She's in deep meditation. In her room? Is she here? No. She's a little busy at the moment. But she's really? alright. Where is she? Committed herself to prayer to the Raven Queen in solitary. Oh. I wish to hear more of the Raven Queen from her. I hope that I can see her again soon. Thank you. Why is everyone so glum? Well, I'm sick. sick. What manner of sickness, uh, uh, Sarah? I uh, patched up my brothers when they were feeling particularly under the weather from a night of uh, stupidity. A little bit more serious than that, but thank you. How so? Muted. Oh, I mean, we lost, we lost you. Didn't pick it up. Yeah. No. No, I'm muted. It just didn't pick you up for some reason. Hello. Mm. Yeah, Hello. Okay. okay. There we go. Not. It's a personal sickness. Um, or rather, it's personal. But I wonder if you know anyone who feels in carrying magical sickness, Bella. What? I can feel Zinnicus staring at me. You're breaking. The number one rule of Fight Club is don't yeah. talk about Fight Club. Yeah, Zenica's definitely giving you the eye. She's like, um, what manner of magical sickness is it? There are all sorts of curses and foul magic spans around this place. It is something I don't, don't let my family know, but something I was uh, interested in reading about any chance that I got before I fell under the sway of that bastard. Can I do a, is there, is there something I could roll to see, like, I don't know if this would be an insight check, but to see if, like, she would, I don't know, tur turn us in, for lack of a better term. Um, yeah, I mean, it would be an insight check to, to uh, check her motivations for talking like she is. Oh, I'm so close to a natural 20, <laughs> 24. Excellent. Um, yeah, she seems... She seems genuinely curious and, and slightly excited about uh, dark magic. You can take me to someone who... I'll let you know. Well, uh, when did it all start? What is the manner of your affliction? I, I'm sure I, I may have read something. I have read a great many things. Never mind. And she's gonna try and just bait Stella to take us to someone without, like, you take us to someone so I can talk to them, it's, and then you can find out, or you don't get to know. It's a little if you can fix it, you can find out. It's difficult to cure something that you are unaware of what it is. Who is the strongest curse breaker you know? I do not know any. Well, then you can help me. Oh well. Good luck. And, um, the day is yours. Over here on the map there, on the eastern side, we can see Aragon Vostolt up on the hill. And directly, almost due west, we can see the winery. The vineyard. You see the uh, the farmed land around the uh, single building there. Yeah. Um, 
quite curious, Asara, as like Edgar kind of pulls Asara aside. Why uh -huh. did you not? I noticed you weren't comfortable. You telling her? Why is that? Oh, oh, why? Why? Because because they kill giant dogs that walk on two legs here. I see. I'm gonna follow. I'm I'm new to this, so I'm gonna follow the lead of the uh, oldest dog I know. And that would be that one, since you're so interested. You know, we just met you, so I don't know that you're in a position to be lecturing me or inquiring as to my secretiveness. I was say, that's a good point. Has he even seen real you? <laughs> nice. Yes, everyone. Asara... It's not not usually not usually visible as as the drow you see on screen. Mm. Dis disguised as as disguised as a surface elf. Also, like as much as Stella has been straightforward, she comes off as really weird. I don't think like me personally would trust her with stuff anyway, <laughs> even if it was. And helpful. she comes off with like kind of a youthful like. I'm gonna I tell know. everybody, like I don't trust her to keep secrets, you know. So I yeah. trust her to be cool with it. She would be hype and cool with it, but I don't, <laughs> Listen, I don't trust you know, her to keep it to herself. You know that she knows things because she knew about Banta's ravens being souls, souls of Barovians. I like that. I trust that she probably does have the right information, but yeah, I, I, I'm with Asara and I don't think I trust her to keep the information about us secret from others. Mm -hmm. Well, if it was secret though, would it matter anymore? And I also... I like Asara. I know. I I know, but I I don't think Asara believes that she could help her really. Also, I'm pretty sure I 99% sure I know the information that she's about to give. Michael does, but Zenicus will need time to work that out. Oh, I was like, then cough it up, you asshole. Yeah, no, Zenicus <laughs> will need time to work that out, but Michael is 99% sure he knows exactly what John is going to tell us with that information. I'm curious. I um, I think. I, I think Asara will get uh, desperate for sure, but I don't know. Totally, I can't. It's only the first failure. It's still time before we I get desperate. More. That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Before we resort to just having to tell people even though we don't want to. Although a month for us is a year of gameplay. Yeah, we've, so. yeah, we've got like a few months to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, no rush. So. Well, Asara, my apologies. I'll keep my curiosity to myself, but if that's in our favor, it will be restored. Any one, any one is away. He's so... I... I... Where's Xenicus? <laughs> like, Xenicus was just like, you, like, was, like, there, and just, just you guys can pull off the side. Yes. I say, like, not in his direction, but clearly meant for him, like, Cut off, but I'm pretty sure you say it's so annoying based on your yeah. your face. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> I love you, Mason. I'm so weak. He's so annoying. Well, well, um, nothing but health so far. Shall we drink some wine? <laughs> Esmeralda, help and help, help. Oh, yeah, yeah, great help. Great help. I had to sit here so and meditate. <laughs> That's what you're annoyed about, the meditation. Yeah, <laughs> to sit here and meditate. You made me you meditate for nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Silence is my meditation. I trance every night, and it doesn't cure any curses. At least you tried. Yeah, I'll try yoga next. Is yoga a thing? In it is, it is a thing. Yeah. You just cut yoga. Next. yoga. <laughs> I think there's a Arakokra yoga retreat up in the mountains to the south. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Craig's gonna be like, oh, like this, and then like balance on his feather finger and like lay <laughs> out. Okay. So 
you gather your things and how are you traveling by by Esmeralda's wagon probably happy to provide transportation mm. it's nice you rock inside just yes <laughs> that's it that's yeah. it just play it like ooh okay look. um so yeah you bid farewell to your friends who are staying here to look after the place and right, Stella's not decided if she wants to go back to the lackey and kind of get her inheritance considering the rest of them are all dead <laughs> I mean what a great thing to want jeez my, my family's dead I've been tortured beyond anything. I mean that's the point I like should... she really didn't give a shit about them she was kind of like yeah I got to oh, get her what she deserves it's a weird ass way to get back to your hometown now I can just notice that she wasn't time away. <laughs> she seemed quite curious about it all, though. <laughs> Last time we were home, she was like, Ooh. Okay. So, you start to travel using that horse right there. And the wagons pull out from the front of Argon Vostolt and wind down through into the reaching branches and clawed fingers of the trees of the Svalic woods. And you make your way towards the northwest at first, heading up towards the tower where you used to stay and Lake Baratok, but you carry on past that junction for the first time. Oh no, you went out to Kresk for not you? But um, yes, you head off in that same direction as you were going towards Kresk before, but this time you veer off when you reach that bridge. And swinging away from the bridge there, you take the road that curls through the trees and then down to the south. This pass for the first time. Indeed. And head off in the direction of Ister Hill and the Wizard of Wines. Which are both there on the map. Ister Hill is at the end of that road there. And the Wizard of Wines is the little branch before that. Now. I'll just jump over there. travel through the woods. Your horses complain a lot, considering they're ethereal and <laughs> not, not really yeah. there. <laughs> okay, let's get us here. Where is it? Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. You branch off the main Svarich road and continue towards your destination. After a half mile, the road becomes a muddy trail that meanders through the woods, descending gradually until the trees part and reveal a mist-shrouded meadow. The trail splits. One heads west down into the valley. The other leads south into dark, dark woods. A wooden signpost leaning somewhat haphazardly at the side of the junction points to the west and reads Vineyard. The dark woods would seem to lead down towards Yester Hill. You take the branch towards the vineyard and as you plod through the mire, the wagon having a bit of a tough time travelling through all the muck and mud that's here, a light drizzle 
begins to fall. Unpainted fences blindly follow the trail, which skirts north of a sprawling vineyard, before bending south towards a stately building. The fog takes on ghostly forms as it swirls between the neatly tended rows of grapevines. Here and there, you see rope-handled half-barrels used for hauling grapes. And north of the trail, there's a large stand of trees. A man wearing a dark cloak and a cowl stands just under the edge of the trees and beckons to you. They are not. <laughs> okay. I feel slightly better about this. <laughs> that was my thought was like, wait, does only Esmeralda see this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm definitely like keeping to see that too. <laughs> I should grab the, uh, I think our good friend uh, James's RPG art should have a nice little. Animated picture for us here. I'll quickly grab that. I'd be very surprised if they do not. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Yeah. There we are. Okay. So, you. You feel that it might be a good idea to stop the wagon. As he's. <laughs> he's a charge! Yeah. <laughs> like you in particular! Ha! <laughs> and so, yes, you uh, pull the wagon to the side just before you exit out of those trees and head on foot towards him. What are we doing? How are we approaching? Yep. Yeah. I dissipate the horses. <laughs> yes. I dissipate the horses. <laughs> <laughs> One of them looks accusingly at you just before they disappear. <laughs> I do this every time. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> it's like, fine, yeah, yeah, just finish up and cast us aside. Do you want to stand here in the rain? <laughs> okay, so it's going to, with everything up and running at the moment, it's going to take a little moment to get this animated <laughs> picture loaded in. Sorry, I should have done it before. Although I did not know where you were going to go. <laughs> I should have just loaded everything in there before. <laughs> um, okay. You start to um, head over to where this figure has beckoned to you. And as you make your way over, are you just walking straight up, sir? Unless they make any so. indication of aggression. Just beckoning. Are they a spear yeah, I, I have my hand on my dagger and my belt, but... <laughs> I mean, what kind of beckoning are they doing? They're like, hey guys, we're over here, or is it just like a silent wave over? <laughs> definitely. They have definitely. one eyebrow Locking popped eye. up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Hi guys, how's it going? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> um, they they are silently beckoning you with a, a, a smidge of urgency. Okay. And as you approach, they draw their boat. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm crying laughs> <to kill him. laughs> um, no. No. They they're just quickly um, beckoning for you to head over to them. Um, as you head over in that direction you see a few other figures also emerge from the trees well emerge to the edge of the trees they are not 
Um, who has the best passive perception? Ed Edgar. Oh, okay. But Edgar, I think, yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Edgar has the best, but he's he's never met this person. <laughs> so. Uh, no, actually, well, well, no, no, he, sorry, Ed, he, he's a local. Edgar's a local. He would know he would know the various <laughs> people. Um, you, you know this person in particular, um, and you are aware of this group as a whole. Um, Edgar, you would know the people um, in charge of the Wizard of Wines are the Matikovs, who you know are a group of were-ravens. And they are good people. And we're also very anti strat <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Scrape is not helping music. me out at all. Because as you're explaining these nice things, yeah. like, this music is shredding yeah. me they're, they're nice people. They're not doing anything wrong. You can Nothing trust them. Nothing wrong is going to happen here. Everything is fine. You can trust us. <laughs> Sorry, Scrape, help me out here. Help me out. Thanks for the tyrant, Scrape. <laughs> um, it's just, this is just the approaching the, the, vi the vineyard <laughs> thing. That's all I pressed. <laughs> um, okay. So. <laughs> the, um... Yeah, this this does not want to play play ball here. This might be faster to do this, actually. I wonder if this will work. Looks like we must make haste. They require assistance. Yeah, so Boop, I'm doing that instead. <laughs> it's faster. Let me zoom in for you, my friends. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. <laughs> Sorted. Sorry, I got bored waiting. So I just, just put the image <laughs> directly there instead. Um, okay. So, yes, as you um, head on over to these figures, the others um, join them. And, Edgar, you recognise one of them um, that you have had dealings with in the past. One owner of the Blue Water Inn. Well, at least one of the owners, the husband of a husband and wife team. You wonder where the wife's got to. She doesn't appear to be there. Um, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Still out. Um, how it's how long has it been since that happened? A week. Um, yes. I actually need them. I think I was being kidnapped at the time. Oh yeah, because we went back, spoke to them Ooh. while you were being kidnapped. Yeah, I don't think you have. Mm. Also, why doesn't he have a wife? You don't know that he doesn't have a wife. <laughs> She's missing. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Even though he's like... married. <laughs> As real as like so perceptive, like he's wearing a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she here with you right now? Men can't go anywhere without their wives. Absolutely. I mean, uh, not, they cannot be trusted. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um. The um. Yes, um, the figure of Erwin, Erwin Martikov is there, Edgar. Although you do not do not see his boys or his wife in the in the group. Um, now, <clears throat> the others um, gesture you over, and and without saying a word, they kind of usher you into the trees and away from the sight of the rows of grapes. And the the vine right the building itself, which feels strange, it's supposed to be their building. How cool is the is the figure now? Um, you've you've joined them. Right? You're oh, right okay. up right up on them. Yeah, and they they take you back into the trees, and there's a there's a small clearing, um, but still covered above, as the branches all kind of you know, tangle over the top, and. Um, that's when they speak for the first time, and it's Erwin that goes to use Enicus and Asara first and foremost. Regardless of what may have happened, I am glad to see you both. Sorry. 
Are those. you? Yes. Muriel has been keeping us up to date on what has been happening. Is it true? How gone? As gone as he can be. Then why are these bastards still here? He kind of just nods towards the, the main winery building. What, what happened? What, what bastards? It's those druids. Those druids from the hill. Father. I don't care what you say. These people can help us. And the figure that actually beckoned you over in the first place, you see, is a much older gentleman. And you think this must be the Davian Martikov that was spoken of when you first talked to them. When Erwin was asking you to come here and uh, figure out what had happened. And he turns, he comes over and he's like, just rush boy how do we know they haven't fallen in with him they say the dark lord is gone how do you know they're not under his sway Muriel confirmed it Muriel confirmed it herself father you heard her yes. that's bird brained fool She's not even family. Don't use that word here. My best friend's a bird. <laughs> and I was, I was waiting for Erwin. <laughs> Erwin's like, ah, oh, yes, I remember him. And we can use that word, this is very apt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. If you have any shred of remorse for what you have done to this family, if you wish to aid us, then help us deal with this situation. And then, then we can discuss what is to come. The father and saying that, so it's difficult to. Definitely like pain, painful look in Zeneca's eyes. What needs to be done? Drive out the bastards that have taken the root in our house. Is that a pun? A little. <laughs> <laughs> rid of them in the name of Danica's memory. How many are we talking? Where? Positions? Locations? Uh, we do not know. They drove us out. We have been camped out here, keeping an eye on what's going on. What are they doing in there? We do not know. 10? 50? I might be able to see. Actually, I might be able to help us by passing clairvoyance. That'd be useful. Um, let's have a look here. Do -do 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 -do. Excuse me. Um, yeah, there are there are six people here altogether. They're all adults. Um. Well, sorry, no, two, two of them are a little younger, sorry. Um, so they, they, they do quick introductions around the group here. So there's Davian, who's the father, Erwin, who you know. Um, there are his two sons, his other sons, Adrian and Elvir. Stefania, who's his adult daughter. And then um, someone, <laughs> someone called Dag. Hey. <laughs> hey, Dag. <laughs> yes. Yes, and this is my this is my son-in-law, Dead Aussie Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dag Tomescu. 
I wonder if, because Dag's playing Curse of Strahd as well, I wonder if he's got to this point yet. <laughs> I think I think most people do actually come here earlier on. <laughs> Will somebody please discover what's going on with all of the wine? Why is there no deliveries from the winery? <laughs> I like how everyone else's priority was the booze and not the, the evil lurking within. I mean, if you're living in Barovia, I, I sympathize. Yeah, but... <laughs> also... True. Also, also, I mean, you know, quest structures in games. <laughs> Drive out the things from the winery before you take on the Dark Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I think I mean, it's, we, we did uh, kind of have thinking. to rush the, the death of the, well, the, the defeat of the Dark Lord, so we, we did yeah. plan to come here. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, so yes, they they are. I'm afraid that there are there are plenty. There are several of them, um, you know, in in there. But they do not know how many. I'm afraid. Um, and they they also they do mention quite openly that they are all members of the Keepers of the Feather here as well. Um, the other Dark Linkers, thank you. Welcome what in. happens if one of them bites Asara? Do you say that out loud? No. <laughs> okay. It's a I was, yeah, I, I was react. like... <laughs> so, so much for keeping it down on the down low. No, no, I should clarify that was definitely a Marin question. Okay. So she becomes like a were raven wolf? Is the raven new place? She becomes her? half raven, half wolf, half pig. How do we oh, think how do we think wolf. airwolves are made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer to meet airwolf as opposed to regular But airwolf? it should be like a tiny airwolf because it's like we're raven, so it's like a normal raven sized wolf. <gasps> That'd be so cute and much easier to chain during the moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Asara's oh. not very pleased with this particular oh. conversation. Oh, it's, well it's a regular sized werewolf's body with a little tiny raven head. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that's so horrifying. I'm yes, just but, taking but, it in, guys. Yeah. Not, not sorry enough to fly, I'm afraid. So. <laughs> it's just, just the decoration on the back. I have my like, little tiny raven head on a werewolf body, and then instead of hands, I have just where my hands are on werewolf. Excellent. So from far away, people are like, ah, oh, blades! And then I'm like, no. <laughs> Stephanie, the shouting. Stop. Don't shout. Please don't shout. <laughs> it's considerably noisier than everybody else. I, I think it turned myself you're fine, down you're and everything. You're the same volume as everyone else on mine. It's just, I think it's just straight up proximity to the computer. You're very close to the computer. I'm, it's the webcam. I'm not any closer than Mason is. Really? The webcam on this computer is way, way, like... Okay, oh, it's, just, it's just the false perception. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Sorry, I don't, it doesn't, Zoom doesn't have the same, like, you know, person by person volume controls ah, that like discord this. has yeah unfortunately um anyway it is okay nobody nobody has complained in chat so i think it is okay and then they're all gonna start complaining <laughs> well, actually. Like, well, if you've opened the floodgates <laughs> we were just waiting <laughs> we'll just be polite john <laughs> um okay so are you going to help them yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I know what? Fuck you guys. No. <laughs> yes. Um, as you mentioned, you could get reconnaissance in there. What do your not elf eyes see? <laughs> Who are you talking to then? As you mentioned, clear points. Yes. Yeah, it's Rebel's there. Um, I'll read it out. Please. It says, you create an invisible sense of within range, which is a mile, in a location familiar to you, or an obvious location that is unfamiliar to you, mm -hmm. such as behind a door, around a corner, in a group of trees. Uh, mm -hmm. It remains in place for the duration and cannot be attacked or otherwise interacted with. I uh, choose seeing or hearing. I can use the chosen sense as if I were in its space. Uh, I can switch to see and hearing. A creature that can see the sensor sees a luminous, intangible orb about the size of your fist. Um, just because you're vamping, you see visibility or true sight. Otherwise, it's invisible. Alright. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, finally, finally loaded in. Okay. I love that, that crow, <laughs> that raven sat yeah. there. Sorry. <laughs> so, 
if that'd be helpful, I can cast it and see what we can see inside. Um, yeah, go for it. Okay, I will. Uh, where are we at here? Do, do, I'll do, try do, and do. Sort of put it up of normal line of sight, so if anybody happens to have true sight in there, um, <laughs> they won't notice it right away. Charlie, Charlie's asking very politely if you would like them to shout at you on that. <laughs> so polite. To shout at us. Um, Charlie, Charlie, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shout at Stephanie. You have to, you have to play with her in a few hours. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's see here. Um, so is that, is that one of your spells? Yeah, I just cast it at third level. It should come up in the roll twenty. Okay. It takes me ten minutes to cast. Um, so where are you casting it? This is the thing, isn't it? Um, well, I can see the winery, can't I? You can see the building as we can see it here, yeah. Yeah, so I would, I guess, try and aim to, like, I guess I cast an opposite location that's unfamiliar to me, so, like, in the, sort of, seat, like, inside that building, in kind of upper reaches of the first floor, as far as I can estimate. So okay. I can see people coming in and out, perhaps. Um, maybe hear any conversations that might be happening. Let's see their lips moving. Um, okay, sorry, sorry. Just um, say the location for me once more. Yeah. Um, sorry. I would uh, look at the building. I would presumably see where the entrance is and try and place it, not maybe necessarily directly from the entrance, but somewhere like where I, I guess there's like a central lobby. Yeah, I think you um, guys... Looking so, looking at the main map, you guys are in those trees off off the edge of the road as you just arrived at the winery. So I think you can see the right hand side of that image. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would perhaps confer with um, the locals, uh, mm -hmm. locals, and you know what the Bardicoffs rather on the layout of the building. Mm -hmm. Try as much as possible to make it like there that I can get this sensor where I actually want it to go. Yeah. Um, and I sense the scale of the building as well. And if I knew roughly where um, sort of a central sort of lobby or something, or mm -hmm. in order that, that might be likely to serve as a sit down place, or if it thought being likely to talk in the living room or whatever, then I'd try and place it there, depending on what they advised. Noted. All right. They. Okay. They tell you that um, what you can see there, as you're looking um, in this direction here, um, is this reversed? So I'm just looking at the map just to get get the uh, description for you properly. Um, you are. Yeah, you're looking at the northern edge and north and eastern edges of the building. Okay. So the Martikovs would suggest... They say the part of the building that's closest to you um, is um, stables, they tell you. Okay. Um, Not terribly helpful then. And then there is a loading bay, which is the next bit over. And then the main building. So on the ground floor is where the vats are kept for brewing the wine. Large, the large vats there. Um, the the second floor, the upper floor, has the living quarters. Oh, okay, in that case. That makes more sense, I suppose. I only have mm -hmm. ten minutes on this, though. So, yeah, I guess where they think would be most likely for them to be gathered, based on what they've observed with their movement so far. Okay. Um, yeah, they think there aren't they think if if the wizards because the, if the um sorry if the druids have kind of camped out here and have, have, have um, entrenched themselves inside, then they're probably going to be up in the living quarters on the yeah. top. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, so the 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 room, um, the room closest to the stables is the one that's you know, easiest for you to see and okay. to kind of picture in your mind what's inside. 
Okay. Um, so that would be... What room is that? Um, yeah, there's there's a kind of a loading loading section there. There's a big winch um, that kind of operates there. Um, but that is the interior. Um, or next to that, there's a master bedroom. That could be interesting. Um, yeah, the the father's the father's bedroom is there. I will try to go for the master bedroom in that case. Okay. Yeah, you can see the window f of that from where you are. Okay. So, um, yeah, you. Yeah, you see um, the interior of this room. Um, there's a four-poster bed. You're, you're doing the vision, right? Yeah, to start with two visions. Yeah. Can't see anything. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, there is a there is a four-poster bed with its headboard carved in the likeness of a giant raven. Um, a soft black rug covers the floor between the bed and the door. In the corners of the south wall, there are two slender wardrobes with a tapestry of a church hanging on the wall between them. Beneath the tapestry is a handsomely carved rocking cradle. Uh, to the north, under the window, is a plain desk and chair. And there's a wooden chest, a freestanding mirror, and a wooden frame. Uh, and... Um, actually, the, the Martikovs tell you um, this is... Um, this would be... Uh, the daughter and her husbands. This is Dag's, Dag's room. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they, they, they use this because, you know, the, the father's, you know, um, on his own now, so he doesn't need it. Um, and... How long does it last? Ten minutes. Okay. Roll me a percentile. A D100. Ooh, interesting. Thirty-eight. Okay. After a short time, before even half of your uh, half of your spell has, has passed by, um, the door does crash open. Although you don't have audio, <laughs> mm. just uh, just the visual, and I see a... it off the wall. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just see it uh, move. Do, how much re field of view do you have? You can like, is it three sixty? It says um, you can see as if you're in that space. Okay, so you can move around, I guess. I suppose so. Yeah, you can use two sen sensors if you're in its space. I, I assume I can look around. Right. See, you can sense through the sensor as if you were in its space. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess you must be able to turn around and, and regard, like, behind you and stuff. Um, okay. So you, um, yeah, you see a door crash open, but it's a strange-looking door, actually. Um, and you, you actually see it's actually some kind of secret door, <laughs> and it's in it's in the wall next to the I bed, leading door. leading through to where it says that uh, where they said that loading winch was. Mm -hmm. So the the druids have clearly spent time here and like you know had a scout around and. Discovered what there is to be uh, to be found, and you see. Um, let's see if we've got a, a good description of these people. I will be relaying everything I see as much as possible, by the way. Okay. No I would say my eyes also go white, but they already are. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um. Sure. Yeah, you see, they've got um, very, very kind of ragged clothing, and just wild, unkempt hair, and like very wide, staring eyes, and a kind of long, straggly beard, and they're brandishing some strange stuff, and it, you know, it looks like a kind of a stuff that you could imagine a druid would have, but the the wood is kind of a uh, um, jet black, and it looks it looks almost sickly, and they're they're def they're definitely they're just like ranting and raving to themselves. I switched to hearing about something. What they're saying. Um, do you speak Druidic? I doubt it. I do not. Okay. 
um, then they are they are saying something you do not understand. Okay. I'm afraid. Can I try and re- uh, do I recognize this Druidic? No, I you try wouldn't, and I don't think. Sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll turn it speak Druidic yeah. here. Probably no. Not. Okay. Well, they ramble, and I guess probably I'll switch back to seeing once I realize I can't understand what they're saying. Mm. So what are they doing as they bash into the room? Um, we just rant. Yeah, just uh, just like talking to themselves and branching this stuff around. In, like, and an angry um, way, or I'm getting fucking hammered on wine. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> lads, lads, lads. Um, in a in a crazy way. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good to know. Yes, an unhinged way. Um, and they they just bust it through from where that secret door is, which kind of clicks shut behind them, and then they go over to the actual regular door of the room and just like fling it open and just like stomp through and just, Keep moving around. <laughs> okay. So they don't—they don't seem to be like keeping watch outside or anything. Hmm. That's helpful to know. Yeah. And um, you do not see anyone else come through that room in the okay. time. The rest of the time there. Okay. Well, that was still interesting. We've learned that they've been there long enough to know the secret tunnels. So I'd probably turn to the bard across and be like, "If there are any secret passageways, please let us know as well, so we don't get caught off guard." <laughs> Uh, let's see if there I know anything. you have some. I saw one. <laughs> he says, um, "There is just, there is just that one in the master bedroom for uh, escaping." What does it lead to? Can we get in that way? Potentially, yes. If you go to the uh, loading bay on the ground floor and clamber up to the winch above, and then through the secret door. The secret door leads to that opening as a way to flee the building in a time of panic. I wonder if there's a way we could either get in that way, you know, without being detected, or perhaps to block it off in case they try to escape that way. Hmm. Then the only other, uh, the only other part is the, uh, the cellars. They are down beneath. And there is a, uh, Secret door down there, so. All right, well, there's at least one in there, and he's quite mad. Sev- a... Several more, at least. And That's good or bad, really. they have strange plant like creatures that they can summon. They drove us out. I don't look at, at the little mushroom on Edgar's head. <laughs> oh yeah, strange, but yeah, all of it, yep, yep, it's probably more like me. <laughs> I don't say anything. No, I read it in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you would be much better off. <laughs> You're forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan? Tacticus generally rush in and hit stuff. I don't know if you guys have plans. Sounds good. No. <laughs> um. The, the father says, I, I'm afraid there's no way to approach stealthily uh, unseen. It's just uh, a wide open area until the building itself. But Esmeralda, you, you saw that they, they were not <laughs> looking outside. Yeah, I think that's not going to be a problem. So I. I guess that's Russian. <laughs> Who's hmm. the most defensive among us? It's not the same when it's not Vanta rushing in. Yeah. Defensive is Probably myself and Xenicus, yeah. Especially if I go wolf boy. Mm. Oh. If I am wolf, I've got a lot of resistances. Not to magic, though. If these are druids, then they'll hold up on magic. But if they're mm. animal shaping, then I'll have the best resistance to mm. the animal attacks. Mm-hmm. And for the caboose, I feel like Edgar has magics. Druid on druid combat. (laughs) (laughs) Anything you can set us up with before we start? Straight Mm. speak to Ez and Edgar. Let me take a look. Yeah. I can catapult Edgar in through the window. 
Um, catapult me. Whoa! <laughs> Just go flying over the building. Fast way to get in. <laughs> um, I don't have much, actually. No. I can only cast much. invisibility in one person. Hmm. Yeah. Not today, I don't make anything good. If you would like, since you two will be towards the front. And like, uh, and takes these orbs of light and pushes them against Esmeralda <laughs> and Xenicus. <laughs> hmm. uh, enhanced ability, Bear's Endurance. Uh, you have you. 2d6 temporary hit points. Nice. Ooh, thank you. And Girl. that Girl. advantage Girl. on constitution checks as well. Oh, that's very handy. Do you want to roll that for um, us, or do you want us to roll it? Yeah. Uh, maybe you roll less than how much we add. Yeah, maybe. Cast against me. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that. No, that is fine. Well. You're getting four. <laughs> that is four more than I had before. Thank you. <laughs> is that for both of us the same? Uh, is it only cast once? It's, I assume it's only once for both of us, isn't it? I don't know, that's why I That? I don't know. Uh, I would assume it would be four, but okay. for both of yeah. you. Okay. So, you prepare yourselves as best you can. Are you going to uh, go stealthily as far as like noise is concerned? Try, we'll it's try to be as stealthful yeah. as we can mm -hmm. okay, until, like, until we're either we get to it or someone spots us, then we can just bolt the rest of the way. Yep. So let's get a group stealth check, please. Okay. 21. Thank you. 19. Okay. 27. Nice. Absurd. Uh, 10. <laughs> Slaughtering along in the background, going. Guys, wait for me. Trying to keep up with us, with these long legs. It's okay. It's an average, average of nineteen. So that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, it's Thanks possible. To Sarah. <laughs> the average is almost double what Edgar got. <laughs> okay. So Poor little squirrel. Edgar. Edgar does bump into a few things, but overall. You think you are doing quite well. <laughs> and you weave through the vines and their supports and the mists that roll around the exterior here towards the main building. Situated in the midst of the vineyard, the winery is an old two-story stone building with multiple entrances, thick ivy covering every wall and iron fencing along its roofline. The trail ends at an open loading dock on the ground floor that was pointed out to you before, Esmeralda. A wooden stable of more recent construction is attached to the east side of the winery next to the loading dock. West of the winery is a crumbling well and a wooden outhouse. You stealthily make your way through the vineyard and over to the end well? of the track. That's on the far side of the building, it's okay. So of course on, on the west on the west side. <laughs> and you do not hear any calls of alarm or noises from inside the building in particular and you make your way up to the edge of the property. As you do, Esmeralda, mm -hmm. you discover why they don't seem to keep eyes uh -oh. On the exterior. <laughs> you know 
of life. As you reach the edge of the building, you hear the rustle of dead vines all around you, and inhuman shapes emerge from the vineyard, their limbs cracking as they trudge forth through the mist and rain. You see a large group of plant-like creatures with many, many more moving off in the mists behind them. And we shall stop there. Splendid. We're fighting the vineyards. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't think, I don't think we have to worry about those crops being potentially useful anymore, so burn them to the ground. Bad harvest. <laughs> burn them to the ground? These... Amy? These you do you do see you see the vines and the vineyards are also still there. They have not animated entirely. Okay. These, these are. Whoops! Burn them to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Famio. We are all all done there. But thank you so much for joining us, and to everyone else as well who has here for our um, yes, trip thank you. through here. It is fantastic to be back in the creepy the creepy fields of Barovia and spooky times here. A massive, massive thank you to everybody. Thank you. It's been lovely to have you here and carrying us over 900 and beyond. How did we go in the end? <laughs> and a few few more followers there. Thank you, everybody. Always wonderful to have you with us. And we will see you all again very, very soon. <laughs> in a matter of hours, nine hours, in fact, <laughs> from now, we shall be live once more. And I hope you are able to join us. Thank you, Chaotic. Good to see you. Um, and we will be back um, for a brand new campaign as we will be kicking off our adventures in the Feywild for the first time ever heading to the Feywild on this channel as we start our Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign with four new characters, two new players, and a couple of friendly faces, Asara, <laughs> and uh, Stephanie's husband, husband, fiance, still, sorry, not yet, <laughs> not nearly, nearly, <laughs> Colby will less, also be joining less us. Less than a month, guys. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. So excited. Uh, congratulations, preemptively. Thank you. And yes, do join us as our adventurers arrive at the carnival on the outskirts of Elturel. <laughs> <laughs> Recently returned from the Nine Hells. <laughs> they, need a bit of, they need a bit of cheering up, which is why the Witchlight Carnival has chosen that particular location for this time's visit to Faerun. Now, do stick around, dear friends, as we are going to be travelling to the Witchlight Carnival, and then later on we shall be going back to Chess Centre, over on there, over there, with uh, with Lady Vanta, <laughs> as was, and friends, as we join them for Chisenta's tyranny again later on on Friday. On Saturday, we'll be over on Quest Junkies UK for our Rodania Chronicles. I cannot wait to be my bear, bear folk friendo again, and to be playing with Marin and Michael here as well. Um, and then next Tuesday, we'll be back in Icewind Dale for Rhyme of the Frostmaiden before swooping on round to the Underdark and emerging once more through the mists to the wine. <laughs> Grab a quick <laughs> glass of wine, sit back, and fight some veggies. <laughs> so, do join us whenever you are able. It's always a pleasure to have you all here, and I do hope that you can join us for this new campaign of ours. Very excited to meet everyone and get things rolling in a matter of hours. <laughs> but until then, we will be saying goodbye and giving you a sneak peek of the Wild Beyond the Witchlight intro. So enjoy that, my friends. And as we roll on through, we bid you all a farewell. But we will see you all again very soon. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Stick around as we go raiding somewhere and get some dream pies from courtesy of the night hags of the Bone Grinder <laughs> um, windmill and uh, get some channel points for yourself there. And we will get on over to someone who is having a good time wherever they are and um, playing whatever they are playing and you can join us for a quick raid over there if you've got them let those phoenixes fly but until next time as we like to say around these parts what are you assuming to say bye everyone thank you